Bro, this guy wrote a whole article about him. Like, I've seen worse formatting on, like, a journalism website. Like, holy shoot. Is this where I should... St where should I start? Just call Tectone? At one point, everyone wanted to get a picture together, and I assumed I wasn't part of it, but Dish invited me to join them for photos. I look like an actual skinwalker in them. Here's the photo. You won't find this on the internet because, as far as I know, no one used it. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Right after taking this photo, however, Atsu brought everyone back to the photo specifically without me in it. And there's nothing wrong with wanting photos with your friends, but for someone who supposedly doesn't have an issue with me, it's very weird for them to take photos without me and then post versions that exclude me, uh, exclude me instead. Okay. Um, I remember, uh, Dylan... <laughs> Dylan was visiting his wife's family. And his wife's family said they wanted to get a picture with all of them together, and then they wanted to get a picture without Dylan in there in case they get divorced in the future. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> bro, he told me about this. It was like fucking six months ago or something like that. Like, you know, like around holidays, you know, something like that. Oh my God. People do that actually. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Uh, isn't, isn't that weird? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I it's... I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just funny to me. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't take that too seriously. This is a little bit different because he's, like, trying to put on one impression, but it's actually another. But, yeah, um, this is just incredible. Basically, my last real interaction with Atsu and the entire group, I was reading into things too much. I just asked him directly. Hey, Brax, I don't consider you to be on bad terms, but I do keep you at arm's length simply because I don't really know you. And I found it uh, a bit uncomfortable how eager you came across to become, to befriend me. It almost felt forceful. Post NYC and, uh, and, and even post LA, certain tweets and actions I saw over time. I, it, certain tweets and actions I saw over time continued to reaffirm to me that it was probably indeed in my best interest to keep you at arm's length. While I would like to elaborate more, I can't say in good faith that I trust you to respect certain degrees of privacy. Well, he's right. <laughs> he just leaked the DMs. I mean, to be fair, Atsu was kind of right about this, wasn't he? Um, so, so there it is. Respect to privacy to keep things fully confidential. Um, uh, I, I don't think that you're a bad person, but I also don't think I can really vibe with you on a friend level. Okay. Atsu is literally lying continuously on his stream, misconstruing... Misconstru misconstruing, excuse me, uh, the chat, and he literally said that these two pictures are different, then later admitted it, admitted to editing them. You need to be missing brain cells to even think he's speaking the truth. I bet this is Brax, isn't it? This is Brax? I've never seen a picture of Is this Brax? <laughs> oh, man, that's cute. Oh, wow. So it's uh, very obvious. So he posted, this is a tweet that Atsu posted. And he said, who's coming to see us? So this is his actual tweet, right? It's not like some sort of, um, you know, Photoshop or whatever. So basically what he did is he, he created a separate image here that he could put on top of him. So it would cover instead of just one of them but it would cover both of them and simultaneously seem like he wasn't trying to cover two people. It just happened by the nature of the picture. So this is actually very clever by Atsu, but it's also very obvious what the goal was. We saw Tecton. If Tecton wants to talk on stream, I'm down to do it because like, I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand what happened. Yo, what up? Yeah, what up, dog? Um, I don't know. That's why I was going to call you. Uh, so, what the yep. fuck, man? Yeah, so, essentially, I have been getting fucked for three and a half years, and I kind of just ripped the band-aid off and said, alright, so let's talk about it. And let me tell you, when I give these people, is that a fucking ad? When I give Two these ads. people my point of view, they did not like it. And then, slowly, uh, this other guy stepped up called Atsu, on uh, everything that I was So this is then. Atsu, right? The uh, I like anime and K-pop. Yep, that's Okay, that's, that's the, the this is the guy, okay? Yep. So and, uh, so where did this guy So who is this guy? He's a content creator? 
Yeah, so Atsu is a content creator for okay. the Action Impact community that has a very, very, very large influence of pretty much what anybody can say or do. Uh, he's kind of in control of a lot of the relationships. He he has a lot of uh, very tight-knit friends with a, a lot of the largest CCs in Genshin Impact. And essentially, a lot of people came forth with their stories about Atsu going behind the scenes and preventing these people from having opportunities uh, paid or unpaid or relationships uh, behind their back based off of pretty much minimal to no interaction. So he was pretty much saying, oh, this guy can talk to us. Oh, this guy can't. Like, he was like... So okay, so so Atsu was acting as a gatekeeper to working with Hoyoverse. Is that is that what happened? Um, can, the things that are concrete are at least he was preventing people from collaborating with the biggest content creators in Genshin Impact. Where's the uh, evidence of, of that? Uh, well, okay, so there's one minute link to the Twitter post. Yes, there's quite a lot. Yes. All right. So here's the first photo of a guy called Braxophone that he claimed uh, didn't uh, have him in a photo, but then he edited him out of the photo. Oh, we he bombarded. We saw this one. This was very cute. Yep. yep. This is another content creator called uh, Sekapoko. Well, well how did how does that first picture like? Because obviously Atsu probably yep. doesn't like Brax, and I saw that Brax yep. posted the DMs, and it seemed like Atsu literally said, "I don't really like you." But yep. how do we know that means that he was going and stopping Hoyoverse from working with uh, with Brax? Uh, so. The thing with Atsu is, and the reason yeah. why this is such a hard topic to talk about, it's kind right. of like it's a gray area. Atsu has confirmed he has the ability to make connections and mend connections with Hoyoverse. He has gone on record saying that. Where did he say uh, it? And, uh, he said that in Mtash's VOD okay. uh, about an hour ago. Uh, I'm sure, chat, do you have the clip of that? Yeah, um, I, I want the clip. The power, yeah, if you have the power of mending or uh, making connections for Hoyoverse, you should also have the ability to take those uh, take those uh, bridges, uh, uh, breaking those bridges away. Well, I think that at, at some level he has a connection with them, right? And is yes. there any any evidence of him actually exercising that? Uh, the only evidence is that there was about 22 creators who all came out essentially saying that Atsu ruined their life, uh, even some talking about uh, leading them to attempt suicide. 22 creators? Yeah, around there. I'll, I'll keep looking at Let's say it's only 15. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Well, let me let me look at the second one. So this is Crescent. And what is this? is some guy. I'm, I'm status. To this okay. This is the second one you linked me. What did Brock say? At yeah, Asian guy, so he plays me what I did wrong. Uh, there's uh, there's what there's the Sekapoko, yeah, and then there's Gusag, Amy. Okay. Let's see if there's more. Let me listen to yeah. Sekapoko. Hates me and why. Sure. That that was my experience with Atsu. Atsu spreads hate of me to other creators and industry professionals. Yeah, he he did that to me too. I don't know why. Me neither, bro. <laughs> me neither, bro. <laughs> I don't, he, yeah, me too. First time? Oh, okay. Me too. Me too. Atsu uses people to close high social ladders while everyone is not. Saxophone status. Okay. Well, so the second one, this mm -hmm. guy just said it happened, right? I mean, like, I don't know if I want to believe him at face value. I mean,. But, like, I, sure. I think that we're getting into a situation where it's like, mm -hmm. you seem to just keep be, you seem to just be linking me more and more of these. And it does seem very weird yeah. that even though there isn't any real hard, concrete evidence, all yeah. of these other people do seem to have the same experience with this individual. So here's Goose yep. Egg YouTube. Is this, this is another person? Yeah, this is a, a man who kind of. So essentially what happened was, yeah. uh, Goose Egg used to be my old roommate. Okay. Uh, and he was getting subtweeted by Atsu. So he made a claim that Atsu should get off his high horse and stop being so egotistical. And Atsu uh, kind of made it to where he said that I manipulated Goose into making that post about him. Goose did not take that well. I actually told him to do the exact opposite. I'm a, I'm a very big advocate because I've, I've even talked to you about mental health to where if you don't have a strong mental health, it is probably not a good idea to be a content creator because drama is going to happen and it's going to happen a lot. And uh, it's very hard to handle that. Um, so I've advocated for many people to not do content creating if they are going to 
I, I guess, be self-destructive if people say things that aren't or not aren't true. Because when, you, when you're a content creator, you have to be ready to see people just essentially lie about you 24 fucking 7. Yes, you're right. And so <laughs> Goose witnessed that. Mm -hmm. And I did not see that man because Atsu said that he manipulated or I manipulated him to make the post didn't happen and then he pivoted the content and the drama from him into me because he wanted to punch up on a better creator because having drama with a smaller creator usually means it's you're not beneficial drivers yeah yeah but having drama with a bigger content creator is very beneficial so uh, so, so he, basically this goose guy yep. is getting subtweeted by atsu and he's your roommate at the time he was my roommate at the time yeah and then after that um he makes uh, like the goose makes a video atsu reacts to this video and he yep. says that uh, basically Goose is an idiot and that you put him up to making the video. Yep. And there was no basis. There was It was baseless. There was no proof. And then yesterday he admitted that he just made it all up. So where's the, where's the link to the video that he says that you put him up to it? Because I'm, I'm trying to find it. Regarding the drama, is this, is this the video here? That's it, a... Is that's it? a very long one. That's a that's Asian yeah, just, guys one. Uh, the original video is uh, Goose Egg's YouTube, but uh, that is a video that talks about all that. That's an old one. That's an old old. Yeah, one. I just, I just want to see where exactly he said that like tech to, like you Tectone like actually affected the video, right? Because like that's sure. a pretty big accusation. Of course. Uh, yo. Um, yeah. Do Jack, we have that? Has a, if anybody has a YouTube link to where he pivots from it being about Goose to it being about me, can you guys go find a clip of that real quick and send it to me? Just, you, you take as much time as you need, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you have that, send it to me. But uh, yeah, I mean, he was he was my homie. He didn't really know how to live with the guilt, and uh, yeah, he you know got into some very dark dark habits. He would stay in his room for three days at a time, completely yeah. in the dark, and then you know some. some and this was after the again. Atsu video. Yeah, this was caused by the Atsu video, yes. Okay. Did he try to defend himself or anything like that afterwards? Goose? Because he says right here, um, mm -hmm. are you happy that you caused me and Tecto? How'd you and, how'd you and Goose have a falling out? Do you, I mean, so do you want to talk about he, that or no? He became a husk of who he formerly was. Okay. Uh, he started doing just irrational shit and became pretty much a... A, a, a husk of the former man that he so was. So, like, mind fucked him? Yes. Okay. And uh, he went live on stream, completely unaware of his actions, and he leaked our address on stream. Now, okay. this was a, around the time where I was getting a lot of death threats and people, you know, already coming to my house. And then at this point, I realized I need to make a security system. Um, I asked him to help me pay for the security system and because he leaked my address, and he couldn't do it. And it was just very rough. Yeah, I'd have kicked him out, too. Uh, no, I, you know, you yeah. made the right call, definitely. I, I, yeah, I'd have kicked his ass out, too, absolutely. Um, yeah. so, as Tectone, so then, a after that, like, what happened to Goose? Uh, he went home, he's received a lot of therapy, uh -huh. he stopped doing content creation, and as far as I know, he's doing much better now. It's been two years since then. And so, all of this happened, and making it today, lost all of my Hoyo relations, all my content friends, lost my career, lost my mental health. Just because one guy in his community. Yeah, because Goose had like maybe like 100, 150 viewers. And now everyone thinks that Goose is just a fucking idiot because Atsu just completely ruined his reputation. Right. Which is another big issue, which is Atsu used another content creator called Dreamy to lead people to believe that I cause drama in every single community that I'm in. But in reality, I have it. And so Dreamy how do you, the person how do you, so Dreamy said this? Dreamy uh, said no, that so you caused Atsu, drama? Atsu uses the dreamy incident in Ark Knights to say that I start uh, drama in every single community that I'm in, even though I've never caused drama in Skylanders, Alone, Sinnoh Alice, um, Ring of Heroes, uh, Ooh La La, pretty much like about 16 mobile gaming communities I've never had an issue with, but the first one that I had was Ark Knights, and this one was caused by dreamy. And like even now, I can't even say that without people typing cat, which is insane. I right. put up another video uh, two days ago about dreamy was outed as being a piece of shit and starting issues with everyone as well as lying about me where they were claiming that i was gaslighting manipulating them in the dms when in reality all of our dms was actually me helping them with our channel so essentially you know people well and did you those show those dms yes i did and you can't delete twitter dms 
Well, these are these are Discord DMs. These are very old. Oh, not delete okay, anymore. okay. So you you could you could technically oh, I have. I could have deleted, but this okay. is this is DM from three four years ago. Right, right. Yeah, I, I understand. And and if it was edited, it would have been noted as that it was edited. And I'm assuming yeah. that they weren't. Okay. They were not. And uh, if you ever want to see those, uh, there's still video. Uh, yo, boys, we got the uh, the videos of the DMs between me and Dreamy. Appreciate that. Here's Atsu admitting himself as lying. Mr. Wick. So then this, this, uh, there's another one, Amy Chicken, is that the name? Yeah. What's this? Says, I've had similar experience. So this is another girl that had a really bad experience with Atsu? Yeah, also, I, I, the, the, the clip that I linked to is pretty way too dank. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of lost my cool, because it was kind of a, uh-huh. Uh, you know, somebody admits that they fucked me three and a half years ago, and I've been living with the bad. I've been living with the bad reputation ever since. Okay. Um. So just. All right. All right. I'll, wa link, I'll watch it right now. Yeah, it's it's at around 135, 126, or around one twenty six. If you want to watch the full, the, the, the okay. Full I'm program. gonna just start at one twenty five then. Sure. Knew that he caused me bad PR forever. How do you think? How do you think that that made him feel when he went against my wishes? When it was just about him and you, and you made it about me controlling him? Do you know how disgusting that is? And truth be told, I thought you encouraged him to do so. I and imagine that, you fucking retard! So whenever you say, whenever this guy said, I imagine you encouraged him to do so, is he yeah. talking about the video that Goose made? Yeah, he's okay. he was insinuating and also presenting it as objective truth that I manipulated my roommate into making that video. Okay, all right. And that's why he pivoted to make it about me. All right, I'll, I'll finish it. Yeah. Do you know how disgusting that is? Sorry and for the R word. Truth be told, you. I thought you encouraged him to do so. I and imagine that, you fucking retard! Three years, you fucking admit it! And that's the f problem. Three years. There's people who get that I'm right. And there's people who don't get that I'm right yet. All right. Um... So basically, why did, so I, I want to go back to this goose situation because like, yeah. I'm not entirely sure I'm understanding this. Yeah. So Atsu, why did goose make the, the video about Atsu again? He was subtweeting him on Twitter. How does he know that he was subtweeting him? How does, how did goose know that? Uh, that's a very good question. To be honest, I can't answer that with certainty. Uh, boys, if we watch, if you watch the video, does he quote the tweet that he was being subtweeted by? Do we have that, uh, do we have that quote? It, it should be in the video. He does pull up the video. Uh, let, let me see. If anybody can okay. find it, Atsu literally said it. Apparently, Atsu also admitted it, but, uh, yeah, if you guys... Twin, twin, because, twin, he, yeah, that's that the thing. Right it's here. like, if Atsu responded and said, yeah, it was about you, then, like, okay, then there it is, right? But, like... Yeah. I just don't know if there, is there like hard evidence that like it was actually about him or did he just take it that way? Uh, I would like to say that it is 100% he was intending to subtweet Goose. Right. But, uh, you know, I mean, let, let me see if I can get you some proof here real quick. I don't, okay. I don't want you to have to take my word for anything. Yeah, no, I, I, I really don't. Because to yeah, me, I like, I, like I want to have it down, bro. I want to have I'm it sure. in writing. I want to see it for a fact. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to... Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, I got Rickrolled. Yeah, I really... Uh, this is Goose's initial showcase. Okay. Oh, uh, here we go. There are many creators in the game. Ooh, why do I get so... Like, we're now. It's so deep, many people off the stream. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, so this is the subtweet. <laughs> okay. A, let me go ahead. Second, Mark. I'm gonna... Yeah, I got it. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up here. So, my side of the story, two years ago video, None. and then there's the tweet, and then it was Atsu that made a tweet. There are many creators in the Genshin circle and wider connected circles. 
I'd like to be friend or get to know better, but they're already in so deep with so many people that are awful off stream. It makes me skeptical if they're just naive or also awful behind the scenes. And so the implication here is that Goose is also awful because he associates with you. Is that the implication? Yeah. Okay. Not upset about that, but it could have solved a lot of... Um... And did Atsu ever admit that it, this was about... Well, okay, so if we go backwards and we assume that... Because Atsu said that he assumed that you manipulated Goose into making the video, or that he assumed that. So that yep. would have also implied that Atsu had a negative opinion of you. And so if he had a negative opinion of you at that time... This, that's why he thought that you made Goose make the video, then it would have made yep. logical sense that the subtweet was about Goose. Yeah, that makes sense what you just said, yeah. That was a, that was a very long train of thought. That was a, I'll be real, I've got two I, hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a lot. I, 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 yeah. Think, I think that's, that's how I would look at it, at least. Yep. And so... Uh, Atsu said Goose was Walmart Tectone, which is a horrible thing to say about anyone. Basically, he's saying uh, he's Walmart dog shit. I don't know what that is. So, like, Atsu said that. So, like, where are all of these clips of Atsu talking shit, though? The clips of Atsu talking shit? Yeah, yeah. Like, where, where's, the, where's the links of that? Um, I suppose probably from his twit longer. Okay. I mean, it's not so much. It's not so much about Atsu talking shit. It's more about uh -huh. Atsu going behind the scenes and preventing cr uh, creators from getting opportunities that they would have otherwise received. So how how do we know that happened? How do we know that Envy, or not Envy? How do we know that Atsu went behind people's backs and prevented opportunities? Yes. Uh, because about you know a, a lot of people have come forward in the past five hours, all cooperating the same story. And what is that story explicitly? The story is that they were attempting to get close to people, but they were received that they were not allowed to communicate with that person due to a vague source or Atsu directly, which is also corroborated in uh, Braxophone's post as well. So, and, and if you look at Braxophone's post here, um, yep. let me see if I can find it again. Oh, and even Dish, who's one of his closest friends, also... Uh, admitted that uh, he does heavily influence their decisions, which is the Twitter post here. Where? Where Where did Dish say I, that? I linked it. I okay. linked it. I linked it. Okay. Yep. I'm trying to keep up here. I'm gonna yeah, no, I understand. Up, I understand. I am so fucking tired. It's good. It's good. I cannot speak to all the claims of the document. I'm processing it all, but I can tell you I'm very confused with Atsu's distrust of you. Unfortunately, this is where my investment stopped. I heard in passing comments here, but you here and there, I never borrowed to ask questions or make up my own mind. I need to apologize to you and take accountability for not paying more mind going to the divide. And actually getting to know yourself. Happy to have friends in content care space. Apathetic and unconcerned about this outing. Ousting must have felt to you. Mm -hmm. Reading this now. I mean, I don't, I don't think this really applies. Um, how does this imply that Atsu was acting as a gatekeeper, though? Um, uh, let me see if I reread it. Yeah, because maybe I'm not understanding it. I would argue that Dish stating at the beginning of the par the first paragraph saying, but I was telling you I was very confused by Atsu's distrust for you, would imply that he told Dish to not trust them. Okay. Um... So basically what you're saying is the... Expressing that she was confused. Is this a she or he? I'm not really sure. She, um, also, I would like she? to okay. say, if, if you go, there's a talk between Mtash and Atsu where Mtash uh, uh, literally runs this down point by point and Atsu admits that he did that and he also did not realize well, Atsu admits how that he much did power what? he has. Atsu admit that he did what? That if he has the power to mend and repair relationships that he would also in turn have the inverse, which is destroy relationships. That would logically make sense, yes. Yes. Where does he say that he has the power to mend and repair relationships? Boys, we have that one, right? We have that I clip, was that yeah. earlier? Yeah. I believe I already sent in the Mitzi cans. 
he, he said it on MTAS stream. Well, let's get the clip. I want to see the clip then. But I, I think that what you're saying, like, it's it's very yeah, check, hard check, to check, say what? Yeah, check, check the clip that I just sent you. Okay. The, the MTAS one. MTAS, he admits he can. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and watch that right now. Yeah. Me or not, I have not batted against you and I've not batted against other content creators from working with Hoyoverse. But I have tried to, and I'll come out publicly and say this, I have tried to patch up the enviosity well, clip, speak. the enviosity tweet that uh, y'all uh, y'all tweeted out. Uh, can someone y'all, can one of y'all imger that, please? Yeah, I want to see that after this. Yeah, but can, can uh, you, can you. Uh, can you can you screen cap that? Because I cannot see that. Well, I can speak on why well, I just type right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I have tried to yeah, fix I, I can't see it unless your you relationship with I, I your boss and me. try and get you back on good terms because I know you are. Uh, I don't know. Sad is the right word, but oh, here's another some clip issues of uh, with Atsu essentially painting. Um, Goose is a mindless fucking yes man. Okay. All right. Let me see that. Yeah. Goose is just your little fucking minion. He's your yes man. Nobody gives a shit about Goose. He's he's just the discount version of you. Goose. Okay. So the all right. So now we actually okay. This is a good clip because now he's actually just being a cocksucker. Because oh. all of the other clips, it's like, this is all implication. But now here, he is actually being a cocksucker. Oh, absolutely. And where, that's, when that's did the... this happen? Because I see, um, yeah. like, people playing Smite, Moist Critical's playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Was this two years ago? This was two years ago. I would yeah. bet, yeah. Yeah. That's why this is situation situation is so difficult, because, like... Right. It's so hard to just get everything laid out, man. Uh -huh. Like, you know me, like, I'm a big improv guy, the whole... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I get and, it. And sometimes I just fucking ramble on about fucking nothing. It's so difficult. So, okay, so basically, at this point, I, I don't know, chat, how you guys feel, but I think this is a pretty good implication that the whenever this dude, Atsu, made a subtweet, it was about Goose. Absolutely. Like I, I, I think so. I think I've seen enough evidence to where like I would probably I would say like ninety nine percent certainty that's probably what happened. All right, all right. So yeah. now I have enough evidence for that. At least you know for for my level. And yeah, this so sec, this. Are you, are you cool? Are you cool if I self promote real quick? Do it. Seconds? Okay. I, but I'm just saying I got a I got a two and a half hour video of summarizing all this shit. Oh my god, two and a so half I hours. Yeah, so if anybody's Holy ever bored, shit. Fuck. Thanks. I'll, There's I'll the video. Wait, I have to make you mod. I have to make you mod. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy each boat there. Oh, thank you. There's just, there's just a Okay, line, go again. Guys. There's just a fucking line. There it is. Thanks. Just, I'll, I'll just post yeah. it one time. Cool. Um, okay, so you have the, uh, the, the, the M-Tashed, what do you call it? The, the M-Tashed video, the, the clip here, Atsu said tried. And does Imtash have a good relationship with Hoyoverse? No. Would he used to, but no longer. He, he's blacklisted from the community. But wouldn't mine. that imply that Atsu doesn't have the power? Uh, so Atsu has admitted also on stream that he tried to mend the relationship or at least offered to mend the relationship uh, for Imtash. But the implication of that is because it didn't work, then he didn't have the power. Uh, for that specific scenario, yes. But do we have any instances of him using it effectively? Uh, well... I guess currently, no. I can try to get some. Oh, I, I want to see... Oh, I want to see him. Yeah, I mean... I want to see... Let me see here. Because here's they will the li thing. They literally fly him out. Well, he, he, like, fl he gets people flying out. Mm -hmm. He admitted to taking a cut in his pay to get multiple other creators sponsored and flown out. Uh, he runs the majority of their events. So, I mean... Atsu runs the majority of their events. Yes, at least at least uh, quite a few events. Like what? Uh, boys, do we have any examples of that? Sorry, I mean... Yep. I'm, well, I'm I mean, because here, right, here's, here's my opinion, right? I think, yeah. especially after this clip, I think he's a rat. But 
I, I need to like, but because I think he's a rat, that's yep. that's why I want to prove it twice as much. Because 100%. like now I want to believe, so I have to prove to myself that it's worth believing. Yeah, I have to know for a fact. Hundred percent. But read it again. No, I, I, I... Uh, there, there is a clip that says, so M Tash confirms that Atu has the power to control who Hobie vs. Blacklist and whatnot in their interview. That's crazy. I'm shook. Let me just double Let me check. See yeah, I mean, I have not fact checked this at all. This is a random post on Twitter. I'm going to keep it 100%, man. I was about to end streaming mm -hmm. Rage. I'm going to keep it all 100%. Right. Um, so you, you were working with Tectone at 5% power. It's okay. It's okay. No, I, I appreciate yeah. it. And uh, yeah, I get it. I, I've go. done it myself. Okay, so this is... Yeah. So Imtash finally confirms that Atsu has the power to control Hoyoverse Blacklist and whatnot in their interview. That's crazy. I'm shooked. Okay, let me see this. Here we go. I mean, I know... I. So, so, uh huh. Do, do, yeah, that's fine. Okay, to say that. Part yeah, yeah, because I, I mentioned it the other day. Is like I think I I think I talked to you about maybe the content creator server, and you reached out to Hoyoverse and you tried to patch it yeah. up. And and I I ended up talking with um, Sun Milk at uh, TwitchCon and stuff, and I said like you know mm -hmm. I'd love who's Sun Milk. Sun Milk is a official Hoyoverse uh, community manager. Okay to yeah. i'd love to just make content on the game and and not yeah. be blacklisted like i've tried to patch it up and like so I've why does Atsu have them. the ability to patch um, up those relationships all the all the dm says is i tried to patch up your relationship with hoyovers i have the discord logs kind of thing and That's, i know that so I've why does he have that, that ability and mm -hmm. uh, the guy who has the ability to patch a, things a up how you also has kind of the thing, ability to fucking ruin like, things he says we in a clip. Yeah, but guys, that, that's that could fine. just be a but misspeak. Did, I don't want to use that Did you go to bat for any these other people? Or like, I don't know. Right. It's, it's hard to... Trying very hard to keep this shit fair, Chad. If, if, if you can go to bat you know for me, if you can go to bat for me, you could also go to bat yeah. against someone. True! Do you know what I'm saying? True! Yeah. True! That makes sense. True! And he doesn't deny! So, your implication here is that there it is. I am batting against people... Yep. In Hoyo versus is, and that I am controlling who Hoyo versus works with. Yep. I'm just saying if you have the if you ha if you have the ability to do the opposite, then like that that's a that's a lot seems to be a lot of power, and that's True. where these allegations are coming from. True. And I fucking pray that it didn't happen, or else like that's criminal. That that is that is actually um, there's there's a there's a legal thing going on with um, comic writers where True. the guy reached out to the publisher to to sewer the guy and stop the publication of his comic. Like he, that is that is that is um legal. Yeah. That is illegal and <laughs> Mike, whether you believe me or not, I have not batted against you and I've not batted against other content creators from what Then why are so many people us. saying it? But I have tried to and I'll come out publicly and say this, I have tried to patch up well I can speak on why well, Bro is right. shook! Mm -hmm. Bro is yeah, shook, I, I have dude. Try to fix. Oh man, I really don't know what to think. Okay. I really I mean... don't because, like, so he goes and he says that he tried to do it, but the implication is tried is that he failed, and the implication with failed is that he doesn't have the power, and the implication with he doesn't have the power means that he didn't initially blacklist them. And he also said that he didn't initially blacklist them. Is there anybody else besides Brox, Brax, who said that they were blacklisted from Hoyoverse and blamed Atsu? Uh, the only thing that's currently being blamed is not a blacklist from Hoyoverse. Uh, it's blacklisted, or it's just prevented from being able to talk to content creators that they would have wanted to talk to in Atsu's little friend group. So Atsu told his friends not to talk to these people? Uh, yeah, and wouldn't really give a reasoning why to. How do we know that he didn't give a reasoning? Uh, because he himself still doesn't have a reasoning. It was essentially just Atsu says this and then people listen. I think that he might have a reasoning, but he doesn't want to say what it is publicly. I think that's logically okay. what I would mean... make more sense, right? Uh, that's essentially he said bad vibes 
Sorry, everybody knows vibes. like whenever i say somebody like let, let's be real right if i say somebody has bad vibes that means i don't really want to tell why they why i actually don't like them right yeah mm -hmm. and so i think that there's a very good pers very good chance that atsu probably did say why like because these would be private conversations between atsu and atsu's friend and yeah. logically we would not be privy to those conversations because if they were atsu's friend they would not be leaking the conversations. So yep. we don't really know what Atsu said about them. The implication that he didn't say anything, I think probably isn't true. I think right. that and he probably did say what it was, but I think even, that- Even though you saw the diss tweet earlier where it says, I was very confused by Atsu's distrust for you, which would kind of elaborate that. Well, that's what I'm saying, say. right? And and so yeah, I, was okay. going to, I was going to go further, is that okay. Atsu, oh, so what you're saying is that Atsu, the, the dish, well, let me see if I can find this again. Uh, dish saying yeah. that she didn't understand why Atsu didn't trust Brax is implication that Atsu did not actually give a more extended reason on to why to not trust people. Is that, is that what you're saying? I think that tracks. That actually does make yeah. sense. Yeah. Hmm. I think that Atsu probably thinks that other people are... Uh... It seems like this guy is very invested into having clout and yeah, I, I think mean, that he's go ahead here here's my take on the atsu thing yeah this is, this is at least something that i can give with a, a borderline very f small amount of sentience left in, in my fucking brain i i don't think i i personally at this point do not believe that atsu has the direct ability to deliver Hoyoverse contracts to creators. That was a rumor being going on. Well, it, 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 he's moving the needle, right? Like that, that's, the, that's yes. the accusation is he's moving the needle. It's not that he yes. is, now is there evidence that he is moving the needle? Now I would, I, I would say that, what is his relationship with people that are at Hoyoverse? Like, is he on a friendly relationship with them? Is he on a professional relationship? Like, what would you say? Like, does he, is um, he like, if if I were to say he has gone on record saying he is friends with people like Sun Milk and they have a pretty good rapport considering they use him to coordinate a lot of their events. And also there was something about them, uh, you know, having like a birthday party for him as well uh, I think in, in that Brax's. One, yeah, go I, ahead. I think Brax is wrong from that. Okay. I think that is a misspe misspeak by Brax. I think that's a normal birthday party. But because there is no proof of that, so I don't want to. I don't want okay. to further that. I think I think Brax is mistaken on that. Okay. Mm. Um. I think that it would. Like just knowing, because this guy, I mean, he does seem to be kind of catty. What yep. are the odds that a person who he's friends with? He hasn't discussed things about other content creators that he discussed with his other friends. I feel like if you look at what he already did with other people, he probably did say something negative about these people to uh, to the Hoyoverse uh, employees, maybe. Like, I, yeah. I, like, if somebody told me that happened, I would not immediately disbelieve it. I don't know if it's true. I'm not no, sure. No, Here, here's, here's the whole thing. For me, the real serious issue mm -hmm. is the fact that Tawano, which is one of Atsu's friends, has gone on record saying he wanted to have relationships with people, but he was not allowed due to Atsu. That is confirmed. Wait, where? That is in the document. Um, that is in Braxophone's document at okay. the very bottom, where it says, I would love to get you to know you, but you know, dot, 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 Atsu. Where um, is that? Because uh, Let me pull it up. I'll, I'll screenshot it for you. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. And the other thing that really, really scares me, and I, I want to find this one for you first, because this is the one that really freaks me out the most. Uh, where is, you know, Atsu? Well, okay, I see it right here. Anyways, Atsu has manipulated many creators in the space into trusting him and sticking around. Maybe they're all friends now, who knows? But what I know is that whatever Atsu says goes, I felt Jake had a similar sentiment. Now, I, I'm trying to come at this in an unbiased perspective. Of course. This I, person I, had no problem leaking the DMs with Atsu. But he is using direct quotes for things that 
where's the DMs for this? So you're using a, a screenshot. And like, was this said to him in, uh, you know, it, like verbally? Uh, it was said verbally. And I will also say Tawano was in my chat this morning and never spoke anything against it. Maybe that is that a definite or is that the... Uh, an admission of guilt, I don't know, but if he was in the chat and there was something wrong, he was also DMing me a lot of things whenever there was any misinformation, but he never DMed me during that to, to play it or to clear it up as misinformation. I felt like Jake had a similar sentiment to Atsu about me, so I just asked him straight up, and you know what his response was. Did Jake ever confirm this? Did Jake ever confirm that Atsu, like, influenced his feelings about it? Because, it, I mean, like, we, like, if we have a name and the name is being given a specific quote, then couldn't you just ask the person who said this if they said it? Oh, also, I got a, I got a message from Braxman saying the normal birthday party was a Hoyo-sponsored event where certain creators were invited. And I know because my friends were explicitly invited by Sun Milk for a Hoyo vs. lunch, which is like, why did it turn into a birthday party for Atsu, lol? Uh, the convo with Jake was in person at Gamescom Germany. Is, uh, is Brax so. in your chat? Uh, yeah, and in my DMs, yes. Can he join the call? Absolutely. Let me ask. Now, I will admit, uh, would you... I don't want to pressure him to do anything. No, weird. yeah, if he doesn't would want to, I don't give a fuck. It's fine. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I don't want to be implying something that he is or isn't doing with him right there. You know, like... so He's, uh, he's down to join the call. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to add him? Yo, what up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. He needs to join the car real All quick. Right. He's still booting up. Yeah, this will this will work a lot better because he's a lot more well rested yeah. than me. I could barely sleep last night, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet. I up? mean, this has been crazy. I woke up like uh, two hours ago. Oh, okay. Did you eat Chipotle yet? Not yet. It's not till later. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just got a bag of beef jerky, the usual. Yep. Yo, what up, Brex? Yo, what up? Can you hear me? What's good? What's up, man? Yeah, How you doing? You. I'm good. So, uh, I've been watching Picky stream all day, so I saw this was happening. Yeah, this is crazy, man. So you uh, you put out this whole document, this Google document about Atsu, and um, yep. what made you want to do that? Uh, so it kind of like it, it was kind of like three years of just like not saying anything. Okay. Um, so I honestly, so basically, I just had like some bad experiences, um, and if you want the TLDR. Basically, I interacted with this guy a couple times. I was young content creator, lights in my eyes, like excited sure. to meet other people, you know. Um, had some bad interactions, uh, and I didn't feel like they were like, I didn't feel like they were bad. I found out they were bad afterwards because I found out people were like avoiding me. Uh, and, and one day I just straight up asked him if there's like beef because I didn't really think I did anything, but it felt like he was avoiding me. And that's uh, the, those are the DMs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he was like, yeah, I don't have, I don't have a pro, I don't have like a problem with you. I just don't really want to be your friend and I can't sure. trust you. I'm not going to tell you why. Um, and obviously like that, that to me is like a catch 22. Cause it's like, okay, so I can't tell people about this. Cause then it proves its point. Um, but then if I can't tell people about this, then I feel like I can never understand what it is, like what actually happened Yeah, and yeah. why people have this opinion of me. Sure. Okay, and did he ever, um, did you ever communicate with him later on and figure out what the actual truth of that was? Or did he even express that, especially now that things are out? Did he ever say what he thought? So he, I mean, I haven't been watching his side of things. I've only sure. been watching Techie here. So um, allegedly he did come out and say some things today, mm -hmm. um, but I have not heard him express anything. I have just heard from multiple friends. Yeah, you were right, Atsu doesn't like you. And a lot of people were like, Skeptical. I told my friends about this. I was like, this is like really weird. Like, do you do you know what his deal is with me? Because it seems like he's really avoidant. And they're all like, no, I don't think he has any beef with you. And then when this all came out, they were like, oh, yeah, by the way, he told me he fucking hates you. And that's like, for example, <laughs> like the tweet from Dish. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, you know, like some people have been better than others about it. They've been like not super involved. But have any of them given you a specific reason or have they all been very just kind of, you know, wishy washy about why? Every person that I've asked, uh, including Jake, because the Jake interaction was uh, in person at Gamescom in Germany. That's why mm -hmm. I didn't have like a screenshot of it. Um, every person has told me uh, it's not up to them to say. Okay, well, well, let's go down to like the, the thing that you said with Jake. Who's Jake? Sure. Uh, that's Tuano. Tuano. 
Tuano, okay, and that Tuano is... Tuano was in the uh, OTK Valorant Championship. He was on Seca, uh, Sekuno's team. Okay. He's a he's a larger, one of the largest Genshin Impact content creators. Has Tuanu confirmed that he said this? Uh, I he don't was, think he's confirmed anything. He was in chat when he was deconfirming other misinfo, so by that logic, I would assume that he would have corrected that, but he has sure. not said, yes, I said that, but I, I can ask. Okay. Um, I don't think, personally, from my few interactions that I have had with him, I don't think he would lie about it if we asked him. Okay. So, so he said it. this to you in person, and then whatever Atsu says goes, and that's what he told you? He didn't, he didn't say whatever Atsu says goes. He just said, you know, Atsu. Um, well, and in that same conversation... I had asked him, you know, where Atsu was at because I wanted to talk to him because obviously there's all this beef and I don't know what the fuck's going on. And he said, I know for a fact Atsu doesn't want to talk to you. Well, why did you quote whatever Atsu says goes if that's not what he said? Oh, I didn't mean that. I, that was just me saying, like, I, honestly, I don't know. I just wrote it that way. That okay, wasn't an got actual it. All quote. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, so why do you think Atsu, like, what do you mean whatever he says goes? Like, what is the implication of that? Like, or, so, sorry, what is the practical application of that? Sorry. Sure. Um, so I think that th there's a couple things that I think in my in my document that are taken out of context, and I think there's sure. some that are not, and people are kind of mixing them up. Um, so I think as far as the friend group goes, I think everyone is able to think individually, right? I've had so many creators like that are friends with him message me individually, not mentioning each other, not mentioning anything, just apologizing if I ever if they ever made me feel like excluded or anything, right? Um, but, you know, in all of the experiences I've had going to conventions for Hoyoverse and just going to conventions without Hoyoverse, every single convention is the same story. Um, Atsu brings everyone together. He hosts some kind of event. He brings everyone to one particular thing. All of them are sponsored every time. Um, so we're, and... can you give me an example of a sponsored event? Can you give me two examples of sponsored events by Hoyoverse that Atsu is the gatekeeper of? Uh, do, by gatekeeper, do you mean like he's like said you can't do this or do you mean just like where he's kind of like influenced who might go on a sponsor well how do you know he influenced them so here's here's what i'm gonna say because i think this is one of the things that's getting taken out of context sure. right i do think that he has pull within hoyverse Why? i know for a fact one of the well i'm not gonna say that publicly um but i can deem it sure um but uh Basically, I know that he he's good friends with, like, staff at Hoyo, and I know he's been working with them for a long time. I would say, like, even I have had experiences where Hoyoverse has asked for my opinion on something, right? How do you know um, that him he's being, good friends with people at Hoyoverse? Because uh, I have also talked with them. Uh, everyone gossips in, sure. in this space, right? Everyone knows, uh, and here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you something. Give me a second. Sure. I'll be real. I feel like all of your questions can kind of just be mm -hmm. answered if you watch the uh, MTash VOD of oh. MTash and uh, Asian guys uh, interaction. So, okay. the thing that I sent you, um, they are often one of the people that reaches out about opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and so, because of that, there are many Without times Without saying where... the nature of what you said, can I say what my reaction to that is? I believe what Brax is saying. Okay. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so I, I think that um, ultimately... I also, I, I also did not know that, so I'm not going to say that. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, that's something... They don't talk about it. Um, I wouldn't swear... Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when you when you have that kind of like relationship with people, it's like, you know, you can, you can say, hey... Um, there's this event coming Things up, happen. like, you know, if, yeah, is, you know, there's a, like an opportunity for like sponsors or anything. And I doubt Atsu needs to pitch himself, mm -hmm. right? Like I'm sure he's invited no matter what, but it's one of those things where it's like, Hey, you know, maybe this person got left out. You think you could possibly I, I cool have, or... I have a link from Tawano that confirms what Brax is saying about, uh, Atsu is let's, correct. Let's get the fucking link. Let's get it. Here you go. All right. It's timestamp and everything. Okay, and addressing Brax's twit longer, and we'll pull it up right here. Really now? 
you really don't know what this contract talk is about. You guys want proof. You guys want proof that he's capping here. Here is your proof. Here's your proof. Clip. So he's, Atsu is showing a screenshot. What's the nature of this screenshot? Uh, so I uh, was presented a cool opportunity that um, I don't want to go into too much detail on. Sure. Um, but I was presented a cool opportunity and before any of the details were solidified and before the opportunity was either, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to be honest, the, the opportunity didn't go through. Okay. Um, but I had this opportunity and I had no idea what to do. And I felt like the only person that might, that I might know that also has a similar opportunity would be him because he's the go-to for every event. Every con that I go to, he's hosting events at the Hoeiverse booth. Right. He's like the MC for all of the Genshin stuff. Sure. Um, when they bring in streamers, it's him and his friends. Uh huh. Um, and uh, yeah, then you know, at the end of the con, well, I I don't remember where I was going with this, to be honest. Okay, so whenever you look at this screenshot, so this is a screenshot that um, Atsu posted, and the yo, could I ask you? That's you messaging him, right? Yeah. Okay. I was asking him for advice. So, relatively new creator. I've only been doing this for like two years, or I had been two years at that point. So what is this evidence of? Um, I actually don't know what that was being used as, a, uh, as evidence for. I think he was um, trying to say... Did, I link, you, did I link you the wrong thing? You might have linked us the wrong thing, because it was just a I linked you the wrong document. thing. I'm so sorry. I'd like to reiterate that I'm so fucking tired. It's insane. All right, let's go to I'm another so, one. Yeah, oh, I'm okay. like, I'm borderline brain dead. I'm so sorry. Yeah, can you check that again? Okay. Sorry. Uh, give me one second. I'll find it. Yeah, it's the bottom one. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. I did. I read yeah. his document. It was like, this is not. Uh, yeah, no, that's 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 my bad, boys. I mean, I, I'm I'm brain dead right now. I'm gonna keep it a hundred percent. Okay, and this is Tuanto. Yeah, yeah, very good guy. I don't think it was bad or anything, because yeah, he he did come up to me. At Gamescom, and I just told him that, yeah, I told him the truth. So whenever, so Tuantu is Jake, and he did come mm -hmm. up to me, and applies to you, Brax, asking him Tuantu why you're being like excommunicated. Kind of is that is that where, where we're going here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and if you want right. to know the whole conversation, it was mostly. I first at first I asked him if we have beef, like me and him. Uh, yeah, because I know he's close with Atsu, uh, and that's where that came from. Is like, uh, you know, like me personally, I don't have any beef with you, uh, but you know, Atsu. Okay, all right, I'll I'll, I'll finish it. <laughs> How are you burping so much? I burp a lot. I think it's because of. Uh... Is he? Is that is that the end of it, or does yeah, no, he already, he already, that's the bottom. That's it. That's oh, the obviously. whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So he's just <laughs> so he's just implying. So like, what you're linking me that clip for is to say that this is Jake confirming that he had a conversation with you because this quote is taken from something that he said at Gamescom. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um. So. How much like so so basically Atsu also said that he tried to mend a relationship that someone named Imtash had with Hoyoverse. Is that correct? I heard that today. I, I didn't I, know about I've that. I've also heard that. Did that happen? Uh to my knowledge, I don't believe it was mended. Would yeah, that I'm not sure. imply that he doesn't have the power? For that specific scenario, yeah, because Hoyaverse is not like M Tash at all. Why? Because he's, well, he's been very critical of the company, and you're not really allowed to be overly critical of the game or be involved in drama mm -hmm. or talk about leaks. Okay. Um, I do think it's like worth noting that there are some creators, I think, probably, like as far as Hoyaverse is concerned, that are like, no matter who gives you a vouch, we're not gonna. Give you another chance sure so you think that there's like a spectrum on it and imtash is so far into the spectrum that atsu can't leverage any sort of influence to change move the needle at all is that effectively yeah. what you're saying mm -hmm. okay and 
uh, can I can I clarify something? Yes. Because I think, again, this is something that I think a lot of people are taking out of context. I don't think that, like, I, I mean, I mean, I am, I obviously, I, I feel like I have become, like, kind of a victim of this, uh, in whatever mm -hmm. this is, right? But I also want to clarify, I don't think Atsu is, like, some evil mastermind plotting to destroy everyone or, like, control everything. I think it just happens to be that way, right? I think that what happens is Can you, uh, can you ex explain that? So are you I saying think... he didn't plan to destroy everyone's relationships? He just did it. But he just ended up doing it? It just happened? I, I feel like what happened... So maybe even that wording was bad, but, like, mm -hmm. I think that when he's like, hey, let's do this con thing, and he's like, hey, let's invite these specific creators. What that does is it like, you know, tells Hoyaverse, these are the creators we go to. It's not that don't fuck with this guy. Maybe it is. Honestly, so, I don't know. So I don't have any so, problem. I mean, hold, I mean the, whoa, the, the whoa, stories wait. that have come out Let today, me go back. Go ahead, Tuckdown. The stories that have come out today, Brax, would prove quite literally the opposite of what you're saying, which is there there are many people that ought to have fucked over in the form of Bub, in the form of Sekapoko. So whenever, true. whenever I, you, you say, so Atsu does events for Hoyoverse. Is that correct? Yeah. Can you give me them. two examples? Uh, yeah, so Gamescom was one of them. Uh, he was flown out and uh, basically hosted some like game show thing, I think, on the main stage. What and year? He did a few things. Uh, this was last year, so it should have been at uh, the end of August. 2023? Yeah. Um, and then another one would be the Anime Expo that... Uh, that I was talking about where I don't know if you've have you read the whole thing or no it's a lot of reading I've so. read about like one third of it okay so I'll try to explain the rest but mostly the um there was one con that, that uh, my second interaction with him happened at it was at that anime expo I believe he was hosting some of the Genshin events there uh, and also maybe a Star Rail one but I don't remember that one off the top of my head okay so you have the Gamescom one and what was the second one anime expo I think 2022 but maybe it's 2021 Let's see. Uh, 2022. Um, and that, that wasn't the only thing. I know he's hosted a lot more. It's just those are the ones that instantly, like, I was there and I remember this happening. Okay, he says the first comment is that thank you to Hoyoverse for making this anime expo trip happen. So it, it's interesting wording here that I find to be a little bit confusing but like for inviting us to participate i mean he's he, like you know for example like he's not saying we were sponsored by them he's not saying hashtag ad but i have a i have a way better idea because like right now i'm gonna keep it a hundred percent this is getting way too confusing way too fast okay i want you to ask me specifically the questions that you want answered and i will answer them because i need to go to fuck to bed okay <laughs> i i am i'm tired i'm cold sweat and i feel like shit okay what is the specific questions that you want answered what did atsu do wrong okay atsu went behind the scenes and prevented multiple opportunities and relationships for other creators by putting in whispers into their ears saying don't collab with brax don't do this with brax while having no proper reasoning whatsoever but there is no also, there is no hard evidence for that uh, the only hard evidence or soft evidence that there is is multiple creators all out speaking their concerns that happen all today at the same time. Okay. I would also like to say that in the document, and I would like you to read this for yourself, in the document there's also a post that talks about um, alleged, alleged sexual assault and sexual harassment. By who? And then Atsu, Atsu also himself in his text says that he doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't want to out the victim, but he's also not ousting the perpetrator. That is something that I do not like. Did that it. is his words. Well, I mean, I hate to say it, but I agree with Atsu there. Okay, so you think that it's not a good idea if you know someone who's a predator then to not call them out on it? I don't think that it's his decision to make. You don't think you could, like, tell anyone or report that without even bringing up the victim's name? How could you report something without bringing up the name of the victim? Hey, good point. All right, cool. Got me. Well, yeah, cool. I, and I'm just, I'm thinking, like, because how, how could that happen? Sure. I mean, maybe, I mean, right? I mean, mm -hmm. like, and, and I don't really know the details. And also, he could be protecting somebody. This is like a huge accusation, and I'm not saying he's doing this. Well, see, this, this, is, this is not yeah. an accusation that I've made. Right. These are just things that have been talked about on both of those documents. I understand. This isn't 
Yeah, this isn't me saying this. I am merely reading a quote off of what was posted. Sure. Yeah, I understand. But yeah, let me go even further and mm -hmm. just show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Okay, sure. Give me one moment. Because this to me, maybe I'm misunderstanding this. This is super weird to me. This, uh, the one you just linked? I oh, no, 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 no. Yep. That one. That is that is all that I'm saying is that a statement. I don't understand, and maybe you can shed light on why. If that had happened, why why wouldn't you just say who did that? Maybe I maybe I don't get how that works. Um, you're asking me. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I think that. I think that what you're saying and how you feel is totally valid and very like it, it's like it's authentic, it's understandable, and everything like that. But whenever you push somebody's trauma out into the public without or even against their consent because the relationship between those people isn't really understood you could well, at some I, point I, make their life even worse than it was before then because now, that is very true but i would like to also say that atsu made me talk publicly about my rape trauma so i think that's where i kind of feel unfair because he made me talk about that on stream wait he made wait and what yeah, so he was saying that I was shit-talking people in our private DMs. Mm -hmm. So I remember you told creator, me about this. Yeah, go ahead. When a content creator says, you were shit-talking, mm -hmm. uh, so many people in these DMs, well, I have no choice. It's either show the DMs or everyone thinks that I'm a fucking snake. So basically so what he did DMs, is he he accused you. Let me just make sure I understand this. Yep. He accused you of something and he said, prove me wrong. And in order to prove you wrong, you had to expose a trauma that you had to go through that you didn't want to make public. Absolutely. Okay. So, yeah, I can definitely see how you feel. Absolutely. Yes. And like the reason why he's doing it, what I'm saying is that like, I don't know if there's enough that it sucks. Yeah, no, I, I, I think that actually like. Because I, I remember Tectone talked to me about this before. This was like uh, like six months ago or something like that. And, and I mm. remember thinking like, yeah, you are kind of between a rock and a hard place there. And so, yeah, no, I, I definitely think that that's... Uh, and so that's, and Atsu, that's, why that tweet, that's why that tweet rubs me the wrong way. And so Atsu said that you were shit-talking people in DMs? Yes. So Atsu said that you were DMing Atsu. Yes. Like he, you were DMing him and shit-talking. Yes. So yes. he would have had the knowledge of what the DMs were whenever he said that. Yes. So he said that knowing that if he put you in that position, you would have had to expose your own trauma. Yes. Were you shit-talking anyone? I said one comment, Tenha was weird. Okay. I don't know if you consider weird shit-talk, but Tenha's a pretty weird guy. He goes live and talks about dicks all the time. Okay. Like me, but times a thousand. Okay, I understand. That being said, I love Tana, but he's a weird guy. I'm pretty sure everybody would agree with that. Sure. And then you exposed the DMs. And did Atsu, what did Atsu do whenever you exposed the DMs? He did not give a single fuck. Okay. So it's not like he said that he, he didn't double down and say like, oh yeah, this is the proof that you were shit talking. He just kind of was like, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's very odd. That's very, very weird. Yeah. Tectone is twisting. Atsu never said Tectone to show DMs. But he put Tectone in a position to where if Tectone didn't show DMs, the implication would be that Tectone was shit-talking. One million percent. That, that's, the, that's the rocket. That's the catch-22. That's the rock in a hard place. Dude, and, and people for three years have not gotten that mm -hmm. how are you to say it doesn't matter if you don't directly say show the dms if mm -hmm. you say tech tone was shit talking other contacts in our dms you're tarnishing my reputation yes. you're saying some things mm -hmm. that i would never fucking do and you are forcing my hand okay um 
Ansu's in chat. Yeah, no, I, I bet he is. He, uh, Tecton, I don't want to keep you up. I'll probably, like, should I talk to him about this, too, and see kind of, like, what he's saying? Because, like, I, I, like oh. I, I don't want to keep you up for this. I mean, I'm going to keep it 100%. Uh, I, I'm going to keep it 100%. I think Atsu's one of the most manipulative snake face motherfuckers on this place of the earth. Okay, if you want to talk to somebody, you can talk to M Tash. M Tash mm -hmm. is great. But I don't trust Atsu worth a fucking damn. Bro has fucked my life for three and a half years. And you know what the worst thing is? Even after all of this, mm -hmm. I still know there's still going to be doubt in everybody's mind. He makes my life so much fucking harder than it needs to be. And that's pretty much it. So, so you think me personally? Yeah, I understand. Um, I'm just trying to look and, and process everything right now and make sure that I see everything. Yep. Once okay. Again, you're you're free to do whatever you like, and maybe maybe I pull a little uh, maybe I pull a little Atsu and say, "Oh, Asmin, don't speak to him." <laughs> and then you say, "Well, I do want to talk to you, but you know, tech tone." Uh huh. But. I just want to fucking go to bed. Okay, I understand that. That definitely makes a lot of sense, for sure. Yeah. Um. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you really got yourself into a world of confusion, man. Yeah, this is incredible. It's it's a lot. I think the biggest issue is that like it's all like it implica everything implicates everyone. Right. So I I feel like if I say something that someone else said, then that person is now outed as like a part of this mm -hmm. and most of them don't want any part of it most also, of it are like i'm going to tell you this in confidence like i'm not going to okay and, and if we had if we had damning evidence on bot 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 we would just go okay here it is bot 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 but the only thing we can do is man if it looks like a duck if it quacks like a duck it's probably a fucking duck okay um well since you've got to go to bed man like i get that uh could, could you could you add imtash to the call do you have yeah, him on Discord? You. Yeah, okay. Yeah, dude. Because I don't have him on Discord at all. Yeah, I got you. But M Tashed, I I trust mm -hmm. with my fucking life, and he's gonna do a way better job this morning. Okay. Man. Sorry, I'm so fucking tired, bro. No, I'm I got it, bro. Like exhausted. you, you've been awake like all day, all day. Yeah, I get it. Yo, what's up, yeah. man? Yo, M Tash, you, can you take it over, man? Just, just be as fair as possible as you always are. I'm I'm gonna sewer you, Tectone. You made a big mistake here, brother. Yeah. yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, just you got this. All right. Uh, hey, how you doing? I um, I don't. Peace, boys. All right, see you later, yeah, man. See you later, Tectone. All right. So I've I've talked to everybody. I've mm -hmm. I've kind of read everything, and uh, okay. I tried to I tried to be un as unbiased as I can and try to understand. So, the quick and dirty lore is. The first things that I saw from Braxophone, as soon as I, I saw his post, I was looking at it, and I was like, do you know what? This sounds like mistakes I've made in my past. A little too eager to talk to creators about, about content and, and interjecting myself as like, hey, these are my colleagues. They, these are other people that I can relate to. Maybe they want to be friends. And I ended up getting blocked by some creators in the past in the Destiny community. And thankfully, we hashed it out. But I understand that, like, just because we cover the same game, like, we don't have to be friends. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be close. But it's hard not to, especially in life when it's like my dad doesn't understand YouTube. I can't talk to my dad about it. It's hard not to see someone who's in that industry and be like, yo, finally someone to talk to, right? Yeah. So I saw that side of it. And then I also saw Atsu's side of it where it's like, I don't even know this person. They're coming up, interjecting themselves in this relationship uh, or, or, or like into into these conversations, and it's like I don't know you. Why are we, why are we talking about numbers? Why are we talking about other stuff? And shutting it down. And mm -hmm. so, I listened to both, and I saw both. And the, the the tough thing is, is this is a situation where there have been some big allegations, as you were saying, mm -hmm. is like some of them are saying, well, Atsu stopped people from getting sponsorships, and it's like, but is there proof of that? Because that is a massive allegation. And I don't think anyone has that answer. Did Atsu shut down a sponsorship and, and cause someone to lose money? No one can know that for sure. There is no, unless there is a DM that gets leaked, you could never know that. What do you think the, right? what do you think the probability of that is? It's really tough to say because, you know, when I discussed with him, the one thing was I went to bat for you with Hoyoverse and it's like, well, if you even consider yourself power enough, powerful enough to go to bat for me to get me unblacklisted, 
then wouldn't you have the power to go, hey, don't ever work with this person? Because I'm sure, Asman, if, if, or Zach, or whatever you want me to call you, sure. if you, if you reached out to mythic talent or you were worked with a big brand and said, yeah, do not sponsor this person. Uh, I've heard behind the scenes, they kick puppies. They're probably going to take that pretty damn seriously and listen, right? Even if you're not best friends, even if you're not like, uh, you know, in bed with this company, if, if, if someone puts that word you're out there. You're poisoning the well. Oh, I understand what you're yeah. saying. Right? But is your relationship with Hoyoverse better? Mine? Yes. With them? Oh, they hate me. They they, they hate me. So, I'm, so, I'm, I'm blacklisted so beyond black. Would blacklisted. that not imply that Atsu doesn't have the power? My argument well, would be maybe they hate me so much that Atsu couldn't it's, fix it's it. Beyond, but... It's beyond his repair. I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. But but with Braxophone, who was being invited to some things, if mm -hmm. he doesn't anymore, maybe it's enough to stop that. So that's where the allegations potentially come from, is like, well, I was going and now I'm not. Uh, it, it's it's hard not to think, well, Atsu hates me. Now I'm not invited. Was he the cause? And and so that's where I think a lot of the allegations come from. But again, it's, it's hard to prove it. Well, it's hard to say he actually did it so so this is this is how i see it right is that i see it through this lens and i have like now i've seen the videos and there are videos of atsu saying basically and i would ask atsu were these events these genshin events sponsored by at this anime expo and at gamescom because it seems like they are that's because it's his first line is thank you to hoyoverse so yeah. I, I, I believe that they are. So if Atsu has the ability to connect to, to he is basically the um, master of ceremonies for these events. And then he is also probably having a good degree of involvement of who goes to the events. He is indirectly a gatekeeper to interacting with this company. Because if he invites the same person, then also these people, I would assume, uh, like, I don't know how Hoyoverse does things specifically, but a lot of these companies, if if you're going to do a show with them or something like that, they're going to be the ones fly. They're going to fly you out They're They're going to have all your information. They're going to be connected to you. They're going to be talking to you. I know that, like, for example, like I did all craft at BlizzCon and I got flown out there by Blizzard completely. So right. I, I feel like and, and in doing so, that got me closer to Blizzard. Even yeah. though I wasn't paid for them, or sorry, I wasn't paid by them directly, I was just participating in an event. So, right. I do think that, like, at this point, what what is really problematic here is that Atsu can theoretically, not necessarily control, but heavily influence who is on their radar. Does that make sense? Absolutely, yeah. and and I've I've seen that stuff happen in the past. One time yeah. when I was casting uh, an event, because uh, I used to do like some shout casting here and there, yeah. someone was like, "Who who would be a really good choice?" And I had the decision of like, I can say Doctor Lupo, who ended up going and doing it with me, sure, or I could say someone else. And and you know, so so we do have those situations where our our influence can cause someone to get a gig and someone not to, right? So, uh -huh. um, if you want, like. I'm sure we could get Atsu in here if you want to ask him directly, because from what I'm seeing, Let's is do it. you want the facts, Let's you do want it. the proof. Okay, right. and, yeah. so, and so it, I'll see. Um, uh, how do I? Can I just add someone in like that? Uh, yeah, you just have to click the uh, the plus thing, and then it should add them to the call. Okay. Because if, if if you want to go from the facts, if you want yeah. to just go into it, like I, I think that that's fair and 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 everything. Um, so I'll just add him in here. All right. Uh, I think I'm not ready to. Sounds good, man. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. for, thanks, on. thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Um, yeah, sorry, Brax. You know, I didn't even. Think I, about I know. That. I kinda, it's, it's all good. I, I kind of brought you into this, and you know, this is kind of a big thing for you. I get it, man. So uh, thanks a lot for talking about it, and uh, I do really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Okay. Do uh, you want me to just like I will? Okay. No, he's in the call. Yo, what up? Hello. Hey, okay. So the man of the hour, the uh yes. the public enemy number 1. 
Yeah, so I did. I did hear you called me a rat, but it did I, seem I understand like. Where but you're you were, from. but you were doing some things that seemed to be. No, some, no, no. I okay. think I think that's fair. But uh -huh. I also just want to be very thankful to you that you did challenge every statement, and you know, you're asking for proof. Of course, I just feel like that hasn't been around today, so feels kind of bad. Oh, but yeah. I, I mean, like I get it. I, I will, I will give everything a fair shake. And so the first thing I, I want to ask is, yeah. so you had these two events. There is the event at yes. Gamescom, the event yeah, at They're Genshin. both sponsored, yeah. Did you get paid for them? I did get paid for them, yeah. Did Hoyo, and I, I, if there's anything that's NDA, you can just say it's NDA, I can't tell you, and I will shut the fuck okay. up. Um, okay. Did Hoyoverse pay for, or did Hoyoverse directly interact with the people that you, because I'm assuming you suggested people for the event, right? No. What? So, wait, what are we talking about? Sorry, let me. Okay, sorry. Could you? Wait, what are you? What What are you talking about? Okay, here? so so in all of these sponsored events that you've done for Hoyoverse, yes, yes, did yes. you have so, any yeah. sort? I have your stream up right now, and you have the Gamescom one, right? Uh, and, yeah. and also the uh, the the anime expo one too. Did you have yeah. any sort of control? Over or no, any... for both of these, okay. I was actually added very last minute. Okay. So, so you, had, one, you had no control I... and no feedback and no interaction at all with any of the people that you were being added in with. Is that correct? Yes. So uh, are you asking like if I was speaking to Hoyoverse staff or other content creators? Uh, if you were speaking to Hoyoverse staff. No, yeah, I was added in as one of the last people for both so of you, these events. So for both of those events. Okay, so for any other event that you did with Hoyoverse, did you ever give them any sort of like, say, oh, hey, I, sh I think you should bring this person or I like this person. Did they ever ask you that? No, but there is one instance, and this is the one that Brax is talking about in his document, right. where I, I sent an email to Hoyoverse. I pitched to them. Like, oh, all these content creators are coming to Anime Expo. Like, are you guys doing anything? And a bunch of us are going to be in a singular Airbnb so we can do content for you. So I pitched them like an idea of what to do. That was like a very, very long time ago. I think that was the first Anime Expo that like content creators went to for Genshin. Sure. So um, Genshin did not do anything with that until I think Honkai, they wanted to promote Honkai Star Rail. And that was their initial intention, from my understanding. And because we were already conveniently together in one Airbnb, uh, they took us on. And this is the one where Brax is saying I took a pay cut, but I think he's confusing this with another convention, which is a Filipino convention called Conquest, which is one that I did take a pay cut for. And I directly went to the, like, the con organizer, and I was like, this content creator would be good. This content creator would be good. And kind of like a pseudo agent. I And it wasn't just like Genshin creators. Okay. I, okay. I went so, through a bunch of creators. So yeah. let's go back to the Honkai thing first, and then we can talk yeah, about yeah. the pay cut. So the first thing yeah. is that with Honkai Star, is this Honkai Star Rail, I'm assuming? Honkai Star Rail, So yeah. you did, in fact, influence them. It's just that you didn't influence them at the time that you attempted to. Is that correct? Because you're saying that they used the list... And they took your advice, but they didn't do it at the moment that you asked them to, but they then later on came back and then did it. Is that correct? Oh, no, 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 no. I, oh. I emailed them and uh, I said that we're going to be in Anime Expo. Yes. Or we, we are thinking of going to Anime Expo. Like, is there something we can do here? So none of this was set in stone until they specifically said yes to xyz creators that were going to be in this house because like not everyone in the airbnb ended up sponsored and other people also were sponsored that one in the airbnb and that one so did they make the so they made decisions on the people who would and would not be allowed in yes they're, they're the ones that made the decision and that, so yeah. because they made that decision and you found that out that implies that you provided the list I gave them a list of people that would be in our Airbnb, yes. but that was not everyone that was sponsored. Right, of course, because some of them weren't given the uh, the approval. 
but it does imply that you were the list no, giver. No, 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 sorry. I mean, like, some of the people who are not content creators related to the Airbnb were also sponsored. Sure. Yeah, of course, right? I'm not saying that you had complete control, yeah. but you did have a, a degree of control because you provided them a list of people and then they made decisions off of the people on the list. Is that correct? Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay, correct. so you did provide a list to Hoyoverse, and then Hoyoverse yeah. did uh, sponsor people or not sponsor people, but Hoyoverse made their own decision off of that, but that decision was informed by your initial list. Is that correct? Partially correct. at least. Yeah, okay, correct. so you did control it to a degree. I would say yes, I did okay. control that to a degree in right. that sense. Okay. For you. All right, so that makes sense. And now let's go back over to, uh, what was the thing that you were talking about after that? Uh, this pay cut thing. Okay, the pay uh, cut. I think, I so think who, he's just confusing that with something else. Sure. Uh, well, let's talk about the pay cut. Who got paid? Uh, that is, well, I think everyone who went on the Conquest thing got paid. By I, I got paid as well, but I got, so Conquest, the Filipino convention, they paid people and flew them out. So Conquest paid uh, you, not Hoyoverse. Oh, the Conquest has nothing to do with Hoyoverse. That's why I'm saying I what think was he the got event? confused. What was the event? It was it was a convention in the Philippines. What was the nature of the convention? Uh, just popular media, like gaming, anime, just pop culture. Okay. And so your, and does Conquest have a relationship with Hoyoverse? No. Okay. They're completely unrelated. Okay. Um, and so can but you explain? Hoyoverse had a yeah. booth there, right? No, they did not have a booth there. So did Hoyoverse fly you out to be like just creators there to like be like? No, oh no, my it, God, wasn't Hoy it wasn't Hoyoverse. Con Conquest is a Filipino convention that has nothing to do with Hoyoverse. Right, but they paid you to fly yeah, out. Yeah. So Conquest, Conquest paid us. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and and how? Why exactly did you did you take a pay cut? Could you explain a little bit that, of that to me? Uh, well, the Filipino economy is not as strong as like the um, you know like the American standard mm -hmm. for sponsorships. It's definitely a big mismatch because of the currency conversions. So, yeah. but I I really wanted this to be a thing. So I was like, okay, if I slash my own pay, would that be fine? for like the overall budget you're willing to allocate for the group of people that are going. Okay. Yeah. And, and why did you want to slash your, like, so you slashed your own pay to get other people in that you wanted to get in, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm if, looking, if, okay, go ahead. Like if, if you, the only thing I'll say is, like, if you're able to influence Conquest by slashing your own budget to get people there, like, does that also not show, like, shit, we've got a lot of power to influence who does get jobs and who doesn't, and, like, that's why people are linking it together of, like, well, whatever Atsu says goes. Do, I, do you know I apologize, what I, mean? I was a little bit distracted. I was just trying to find out to see if this is actually true. Uh, this is the Conquest 2023, is that correct? Uh, 2022. Okay, well, now we're going to have to go back. I'm going to have to find that one. Then. Sorry. Well, uh, in 2023, at least, it does seem like they had a lot of Genshin Impact stuff. Now, was this sanctioned by Hoyoverse? It's hard to say. I don't no. really know the nature of the relationship, but um, it does seem like Hoyoverse was aware of this. And so, and, and I, I assume that probably, like, they wouldn't have voice actresses coming from Genshin Impact, a voice actress coming from Genshin Impact, like representing herself as a voice actress from Genshin Impact, probably unless there's at least some sort of, uh, you know, understanding there. I could be wrong, however. Uh, I think the, the the two voice actresses that came were mm -hmm. because they were Filipino. Yeah. Okay. Um, I see that. Okay. Well, I, I can't really see anything explicitly that Hoyover sponsored the event. I'm not sure. And so basically you took a pay cut from uh, from this event in order to bring in other people. And the people that, that were brought in because of your pay cut, were they people that you suggested? Oh yeah, of course. Okay. 
So at that point, you did have the power to do that, but that wasn't something that necessarily had to do with Hoyoverse itself. Yeah, well, it was more okay. like I pitched a group of people. Right, yeah, sure. I, before. Yeah, yeah, I get and it. And they, they were like, okay, we want this one, this one, this one. So um, why do you hate Brax? I don't hate Brax, but why we, do you distrust we have a pretty bad relationship. Um, why? Okay, uh, how much of the Twit Longer have you seen? Well, I mean, throughout the past hour and a half, I've looked at pretty much almost all of it. Um, but the part with you is the majority of the beginning, right? Not all of it is about me. Sure, but it's your interaction. Like, the, the actual interaction that he had with you. Everything else is just yeah. implications. Yeah. So, so what happened with the interaction? Uh, okay, so... Anime NYC was the first time we met. I believe he put down that date, 2022, November. Um, um, there was a fan 2021. meet. That's what he says. Oh, 2021? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Sure. I mean, um, is... That was a fan meet at the entrance of the convention. Um, so I was just saying hello to viewers and taking photos. And then Brax's phone comes, walks up to me. We, he's with four other girls, cosplayers, but he talks to me one-to-one. -one. We chat. Did you know he who he was uh, at this point? No. Okay. Like, I did not know him personally. I may have heard of his name, maybe, but I don't remember this interaction to the fullest. I just remember thinking that, well, that was a bit weird because the way he spoke to me was as if we were like friends, but I have never interacted with him before. And could you express a little bit more of like what you mean by that, that he spoke to you as if you were friends? I think it was the tone that, uh, how do I explain? Can, can, so he gave when, you a weird vibe. No, 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 not at okay. that moment. Okay. It wasn't a weird vibe, but it was more so I wasn't sure. So he was of course very friendly and I was friendly back to him as well. Um, but like, because I had just been meeting a bunch of viewers up to that point. Right. And then he came up and I think the way to describe it would be like overly familiar. Sure, cause... I get it. Because maybe he watched your content a lot. Yeah, and because so, he was yeah, another he, content yeah. creator, he thought there was a camaraderie that you didn't understand. Is that, is that yeah, yes. effectively what you're that, saying? That would okay. be a good way to put it, yeah. All right. And so anyway, so that led you to initially have a distrust for him. Is that correct? No, that was oh, okay. not what led to me to have a distrust. That yeah. just, I thought was, okay, it was a bit of, awkward interaction but you well, know it, it is what well it that's is. not the end of the story what happened after that yeah um so then we had a photo i sent it to him i followed him back on twitter um and i we didn't really interact then mm -hmm. but during that period he would tweet a lot and these tweets would be of the sentiment of growth mm -hmm. um collaborations financial stuff ba basically everything that most content creators do care about like a, lo a lot yeah sure um and for me i just didn't really like that vibe where it was like obsessively fond of growth which i understand is fair as a content creator like he is allowed to talk about that and tweet that kind of stuff so you like, didn't like of... you didn't like the fact that he was tweeting about the success of his channel is is that no, 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 not not necessarily success. It was more like the obsessive nature of the numbers of content creation. So he would say stuff like, "I'm paraphrasing here." Oh, sure. But um, it would be stuff like, "Oh, why am I not doing as good as my peers?" Or "I wish X, Y, Z would be for me." Um, and I, it felt like a bit is doom posting the right word Not yeah doom no posting, i understand but... okay yeah and um i just didn't really like that vibe that much but that also wasn't the reason why i ended up like distrusting and that was just something that was there that i observed and i was like okay this, he's he's very numbers focused and that's okay because i know some people who are numbers focused but that's not the vibe that 
I would want to befriend. Can I, can I jump in here really quickly? Yeah, uh, you can jump. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you see the Twitter post that I linked from Dollop of Daisy in the Twitter? Yeah. Or in the in the in the Discord there. So that that's just like a definitely a different take on like the first interactions. And then there's also a Twitch clip of like a tier list of content creators, and yeah. Brax's logo is on there. So it's like yeah. there might be like at least some situation where you knew each other or knew of each other. Yeah. And so yeah, I just wanted to bring up that um, as some you know it's another point of view. So here's a clip, and this is Nazi. this is you atsu and you're rating people and brax is on this list is that is that correct let me see if i can find it well did like because we don't have the full context of this do we and he didn't know it's just a short time. clip well usually tier lists aren't created by the person who's using them so i'm yeah. not sure if that's strong enough evidence for sure like there are a lot of times like I've done like fast food tier lists and there were like some fast food restaurants that I saw that, you know, I hadn't even been to. So I, I don't know if the second clip is a very strong bit of evidence, but um, this, yeah, this Daisy girl obviously had like a different uh, issue. And so, well, anyway, like we can talk about it. She, she said she didn't like you because like the way that you treated yourself, it's like some kind of ego thing. Like, I, I'm not really sure about that. I, I don't, I don't want to get into that too much. But I do want to go back to, like, your distrust of Brax and, like, where that came from. So you he initially was overly friendly in a way that made you uncomfortable. And then on Twitter, he talked a lot about numbers. But you said both of these things weren't the actual reasons why you decided to distrust him. What was that actual reason? Oh, sorry. What are you speaking to? I was reading the Daisy screenshot. It's <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry. So you said that basically with, um, you know, with Brax, that whenever yeah. you initially, um, whenever you initially spoke to him and then whenever like where he came off as overly friendly and then whenever you saw his tweets that you thought were doom posty and numbers focused, those were mm. not the two things that led you to distrust him. That, but, that was just like the slow build up towards that point. Well, where's where's the climax? So this is the anime expo otv party where he's written it down in his own document where he comes up to me and he opens the conversation with this genshin impact voice actor is a sexual predator like that's the first that, that was his like opening so, line. so wait hold up let me just stop let me understand this fully mm -hmm. so brax comes out and says that a genshin impact voice actor is a sexual yes. predator. Yes. Why did he say that? So, well, in his document, he says someone told him to do that. So if you open up his document, he writes it down as, uh, I spoke to Atsu and said it was a ter he, uh, this terror and creep to my voice voiceover friends or something. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly what he said, but so it, it should be there somewhere and then he wrote down like oh this was like a big yikes in hindsight i'm paraphrasing again but yeah so who said it was like uh, what was a big yikes in whose hindsight oh so brax is saying in hindsight the fact that he opened up the conversation with me like that was a big yikes so he opened no, up a conversation no. with you and was this in person or was this online yeah this was in person yeah so he opened up an in-person conversation with you that one of the voice actors of genshin impact was a sexual predator yes correct were they uh, i don't i don't know because it was just allegations and he do they, heard do that they from work someone with, else do they work with hoyoverse right now I believe so. Okay. So, um, who was it? Let's find out. I, I, I am not, well, I can DM it. Well, I'm going to figure it out think... in like three seconds because the chat's going to tell me, right? So who is it? Is it the person this that people is, uh... are saying in my chat? No, there's this. This is someone else that they're talking about. Oh. The Elliot guy is someone else. He he wasn't even in the game at that point. So you're telling me that there's a second person that well, is... yes, according to Braxophone, yes, yes. Okay, so there's a second person who is unnamed, yes. who also unnamed, was yes. a sexual predator, 
and you yep. didn't know that. And is the truth of that matter determined at all right now, whether this happened no. or not? Is we, it public no. in any capacity? No. No, it's not public, and no, it's not you public. don't know. Okay. I don't know. So why do you think he brought that up to you? That that I don't know, but like at that time when he did it in person, I was ve I was just like a bit stunned. What was your relationship to that person? Uh, friendly, cordial. We would like interact on Twitter every now and then. So you were were you friends with them more than let's say you were friends with Brax? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. So maybe he told you that because he thought that you were friends with him and he wanted you to know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see that for sure. And what was your response to him telling you that? That I don't remember. Like, I don't remember what I said about that. Mm -hmm. But I just remember being shocked. Right. And it was it was just awkward after that. Sure, I get that. And so did you ever talk to that person that you knew about what Brax said? No, I didn't. Why not? Because it is just a very uncomfortable manner to talk about, mm -hmm. especially I, I don't want to be because maybe Brax is right. And he said it's well, it's information that he got from another person, another voice person did you continue interacting with that person after brax told no. you that no i stopped so you you stopped interacting with them but you also didn't yeah. tell them you kind of just cut contact yeah i did okay um did you tell anybody else besides uh like obviously did you tell anybody else about this situation i asked some other voice actors and actresses i knew uh -huh. what they knew about the situation and they said we've heard about it but it's just allegations so we we don't know for sure so there were other people that knew about it as well besides brax and this yes. person was a voice actor for genshin impact is that correct yes and the allegations never came to light is that also correct no they never came to light and no. the person named is not is unnamed is that also correct could you repeat that? The, the person that we're referring to is unnamed. Like, it's, it, unnamed, it's an, yeah. okay, yeah, all right. So it's very, yeah, it's like, I mean, you're just like, we're, I mean, I'm completely in the dark here, right? I have no idea because there's just, yeah, yeah, there's no, so no. little information to really go off of. I, I don't really think I can say much else besides that. Um, it seems like everybody is saying that it was T Tignari. I don't know what that is. It, it no, seems no, like no, that's... Take that's not the person, right? That's not it. No. So Tick Tignari was one that got ousted. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's it, it's a different person, different it's, controversy. It's a, it's a different person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. And so that's really what made you distrust, um, Brax because of that that one interaction. I would say everything leading up to that point, and then that was when I felt very uncomfortable. I was like, okay, this is not someone I can trust. And this was the first time that you had heard about him. Be Why do you think you couldn't trust him based off of that? I just thought it was bizarre. That would be like the first thing you would say to someone when you don't really have an established friendship. Um, it, 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 with, with something that's like so emotionally charged, it's very hard to know how a person would respond to it. Like, would they respond to it in like a good way? Like, cause it's like, I agree. yeah, yeah. It's like, it, like whenever something like this happens, it's, it's always very easy to go back and say, oh, you should have known this. You should have seen this, et cetera. No, I, I, agree. I, I, I don't, I don't think that there's in this specific circumstance, like, I do think that you seems like you kind of like it weirded you out and you yeah. also stopped interacting with the person so it's not like you ignored what he said to protect him you yeah, brought no, it up absolutely. with other people so it doesn't seem like you really acted in bad faith here uh, i i don't think that you did so after that you go on to uh and is this where you let, let's let's talk about this picture here yes it's pretty convenient isn't it yeah how'd this happen 
Uh, well, you see the lady to my left. I do. The Asian lady. She's my wife. Okay. Um, she very, very rarely travels to America with us or with me. Sure. Whenever I go to these events. So we don't have photos of like these select group of people who were going to be attending this convention on the left that you see here. So I ended up photoshopping the VTuber Bao, who was also going to attend over both Braxophone and Saki. And why did you do it over Brax? Because the original post didn't have Brax blocked out, but now it does. Oh, so as, as I just said, so the post on the right was taken at Anime Expo at this OTV party that Braxophone told me about that voice actor. Sh sure. Yeah. And then the one on the left is about the convention I was just telling you about, the Filipino one, Conquest. So there's no photos of this select group of people, a minus Braxophone, a minus the VTuber in front of Braxophone. So to have a photo with all these select people in it, I use this one and I photoshopped another VTuber over those two people. Because so this those is two another, aren't this going is, to Conquest. So this, thir this second VTuber here... Yeah. Is it different? Which VTuber is this that you photoshopped this over? This is Bao. This is Bao. But I thought you said Bao was the one who was in the original picture that you photoshopped. No, no, no. Over. The one in the original picture is, well, she doesn't want to be named and she doesn't want to be. So she's completely in... unnamed. We don't even know who this person no, is. No, no. We, 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 know, we know who she is. Brax phone has already brought it up, but she's come out and said she doesn't want to be involved. Okay. Yeah. So I, I can type the name in. Uh, Discord well, chat. if she doesn't want to be involved in it, that's totally fine. But did, did was she okay with this original post being made? Like, was she? When did this picture no. get taken? Uh, this was the OTV Anime Expo party, um, and this was another drama because Braxophone posted this picture without the sensor, so he didn't cover her face. So he didn't cover the VTuber's face who didn't wish to be. No, named. he didn't cover the VTubers. Yeah. Okay. And so that, that was a mistake. That was like an accident, like honest mistake. Sure. Yeah, I understand that. OK. And but it would make sense that you would probably not trust him more so after that, because that yeah, was yeah. a mistake. Right. He didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know. Exactly. Um, OK, so then you reposted this picture. So like basically the time in which the picture was taken and whenever you posted the picture, a significant amount of time had passed. It's not like it was posted uh, yeah, the day after. Yeah, I think after. it's one year apart, almost okay, one year so apart. Okay, so an entire year apart. And so yeah. what was your reasoning again to edit Brax out of the photo? Uh, because in this photo, it has literally all the people who were going to be going to the Philippines okay. for this convention, minus the two people that I photoshopped over. So all it was of just the... so... conveniently placed. Right, sure, I, I understand. So you're saying that every single person that is shown in this image went to that convention was attending conquest yes as a guest and the um, reason why it's this photo specifically is because my wife on the left she rarely ever comes to america with me so we don't have group photos like this no i understand so this is yeah uh, i i understand okay so people are saying that dish's husband didn't go is that correct he was no i think he was there but he's not a content creator as like in the form of a guest but he was there so he did go i yeah he did go okay so then the chat is wrong let, let me just double check that let okay. me just double check that Yes, he, he he did go. Okay, so he did go. The chat was wrong. Sure. Okay, I understand. Okay, so after that, Atsu DMs you, I guess, uh, and he asks you if you had a problem with him. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you just oh oh this this image. Uh, I can't remember if that image is before or after these DMs. 
but I think the date is on. I, I don't know. September third, two thousand twenty-two. Yeah. So that's the DMs. But what about the the image? Uh, the image the, the one we is. Were just talking about, yeah. uh, I think it was on February second, two thousand and twenty-three. If I remember right, I have to go oh, back. Okay, and look so at that it was again. after. Okay. February fifteenth, yeah. two thousand twenty-three. Okay, so that was after yeah. the DMs. Right. Okay, so then, yeah, at that point, he already knew that you didn't like him and, and everything mm -hmm. like that. And yeah. so, um, this real, uh, my last real interactions with him, here's what I learned. I wasn't reading into things too much. I just asked him directly. So, did you tell other people why you didn't like him? So, after the Anime Expo party, I told... The car was Dish, Joshua, Psycho. Can't remember if someone else is there, my wife. And I said, I don't trust this guy. And I was not very comfortable. But because of the, the, the thing he said. Yes. What did they say? Did they agree with you? No, 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 no. Um, Dish was like, oh, I think you should give him a chance. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joshua was also very nice about it. He said, no, 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 like, he was nice. Did they continue to interact with Brax after that? I'm not sure how publicly they did, but I believe, at the very least, Joshua definitely did privately. But I cannot speak for them on that behalf. And was a person named Jake in this call? Uh, I think his name was, I think it began um, with a T. Twanto, Jake, Twanto, yeah. yeah. He, he was at the party, but I don't think he was in the same car on the way back home. So, but he knew that you didn't like uh, Brax, is that correct? Uh, yeah, after the... So, the VTuber whose face was revealed was his girlfriend at the time. Right. Um, and I believe that rubbed him the wrong way, but you have to take his what he says on that car. I can't speak on him for that. Well, whenever, because if I listen, if I read the document, mm -hmm. basically Brax is saying that one of the reasons why, uh, what do you call it? Because he said like, this is at, um, Brax said that this is what Jake said in quotes. I don't really have any problems with you personally, but you know, Atsu. Uh, th this is a completely different, timeline now it's like a whole year after what we were just talking about so that that is well, from gamescom well yeah but i mean like obviously if you don't like somebody it's not like you're gonna turn around and start liking them after a year right yeah okay so then why do you think jake said that i don't really have any problems with you personally but you know atsu yes um i would like to see where he said that first of all i would like to see the full context of where he said that because mm -hmm. I, I was watching earlier and brax has quoted other things that would he admitted were not true i know and i i found that with the whatever atsu says goes yeah and he said that that was he was yeah i i get that but and, and that's so, why i clarified with him earlier that this yeah, is no, what i, Jake I appreciated said. that yes so with this line as well, I'm I'm not involved in this conversation, so I don't know if it's true or not. Well, Tuantu said on his stream that he talked to Brax at that time period. He did talk to Brax, but he didn't specify what he said. But the implication would be that if he said he talked to Brax, that he would also say if Brax was, like, misstating what he said. I mean, this would logically make sense, because he, uh, he also was saying that he didn't say or he did say other things. Or sorry, he was disproving other things. So logically, so, if he is acknowledging that this conversation happened, he's actively listening to it being explained and disproving certain things, and he did not disprove this thing, it would imply that it happened. Is that correct? I don't agree with that because okay. the clip that you watched earlier was very short and he was responding to a chatter. And for this one, I believe... If you pair this line up and you scroll all the way down, there's another one where Braxophone is specifically asking him for my location. Like geographical? So, yeah, like my geographic. So this was in Gamescom Germany. Mm -hmm. He was also invited to that convention um, to do some work. And he wanted to know my location. 
and I think I'm, I have your stream open, so there might be a bit of delay. But yes, sure. he says in the second last paragraph, Jake said, and in caps lock, I quote, I know for a fact he does not want to talk to you. And this, I know Jake said that because he told me, he told Brax that, because Jake told me that Brax was looking for you. I know he doesn't want to talk to you. I also asked Ahoy of our staff that's both worked with us, if he can connect us. Yeah, okay. And why didn't you want to talk to him at this point? Uh, this was... Not that you need a reason. It, it's This is totally fine. I just want to understand. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm happy to explain. So, this was... I would... Gamescom... If you can open the Gamescom video, that would be roughly the time of when this happened. Sure. Um, just the date on that one. Yeah, that was September 4th, 2023. Yeah, so it was last year, not too long ago, maybe like half a year ago. Um, throughout that point, after that conversation with me, with me and Brax in the DMs, uh, he would then start messaging people to message me, mm -hmm. to, to, to speak, or speak on his behalf, including Hoyover stuff, and this is something I wanted to touch on later. Um, for, for Mike as well, I'm Tash in the call right now. Um, and this went on for like, the next however long until now till today mm -hmm. where he would just keep trying to find me or he would keep trying to talk to me when i made it clear that i don't want to talk to him and why didn't so, you want to talk to him oh i, I thought i made it clear that i don't vibe with him I okay so that's just like that's it him. okay got it uh but that there is a bit more context after that is after i sent that message it's the the thing you opened earlier by accident it's the contract dms he he said yes. that even though i told him that i don't want to be so like i you know i i don't vibe with him okay so yeah so for me it was like he just kept encroaching on my boundaries which you know it, it is what it is but that that was my perspective of the situation okay um all right well i guess so so that's your relationship with Brax, and yes. all right, um, it's it's very hard. And, and did you ever speak with Hoyover st staff about Brax? About Brax's phone? Yeah. Uh, yes, because when he DM'd me about that contract stuff, yeah, I was intrigued. Can you elaborate on that? on the intro i just i was just i was just curious about what it was about and so you at so what you're implying here is that after brax messaged you asking about advice for this contract then yeah. you messaged somebody at hoyovers i messaged someone at hoyovers yeah and and what did you ask them oh what 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 is this about what's it about okay and did yeah. Brax get the uh, get that deal? Did that deal happen for him? I I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, Brax said it didn't happen. It did not happen. Yeah. Can I touch on the Hoyaverse stuff as well? Sure. Uh, so every single content creator can have access to Hoyaverse contacts. And when Mike was talking about me trying to patch up his relationship with Hoyaverse. It wasn't anything that serious. That's something even Braxophone could have done. That's something someone else could have done. Why do you think that like they... Just putting... Sorry, sorry go just... Ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Just putting Mike in contact with someone is something any content creator under Hoyaverse can do. And I feel like this is pretty clear because later on, even in Brax's own statement, he says he goes through Hoyaverse contact to try and get to me. Well, he he talked to somebody who was at the convention, so it's not like he really talked to them through a channel that he had available to them. I think that he talked oh, to no, them. No, 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 no. He so for me, as far as I'm aware, he messaged three different Hoyoverse staff to try and talk to me. Okay, so so basically, Brax is saying that he doesn't have a line to Hoyoverse, but in fact, he does. No, no, he I, he's he's not saying he doesn't have a line. I'm just saying right. my point is, content creators that. Uh, unfortunately, not like Mike, who are hated, supposedly, or blacklisted yeah. by the company. They all have a line to Hoyoverse because we have, like, these creator servers on, like, Discord. Yeah, yeah. Where I, there's content creators and you work with Hoyoverse. Yeah. 
So why do they say that they don't then? I don't think Brax said that, did he? Well, I think that the implication Tech is that... doesn't, but Brax does. So, and, so and... Tech, Tectone and Mike don't have any lines to Hoyoverse. I think Tectone used to, but then he got blacklisted. Okay. And then Braxophone has always had lines to Hoyoverse. Okay. But that's like the same for many content creators, regardless of size. Okay. Um, that's very hard for me to... Like, I, I can't really verify any of that. I, I do want to go back to... It, it does seem. I, I, I can send a screenshot of the the server. No, I believe that where you have everyone a is in. Like I, I believe that like, m many games have this. Like I'm I'm in two yeah. or three of them myself. I believe that. Um, I can see it to be very unsettling, you know, from Brax's perspective to hear that yeah. you had openly expressed your dislike for for Brax to a lot of friends of yours, and did you ever talk to anybody from Hoyoverse? about how you felt about Brax? No. Not at all? No. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sorry, I did, yes. Okay, you did. So, yeah. what did you tell them? I, well, this is because they contacted them to talk to me. They and I contacted like, I don't them. Want this. Who, who contacted As them? As in, Brax contacted them. Bra Brax to talk contacted to me. Hoyoverse in order to talk to you? To talk to me, and I, I told them I, I okay. want to be left alone. So you didn't, but you just said that you talked to them about how you felt about Brax. Now you're saying I want to be left alone. This is a neutral statement. No, no. no. So this is I'm referring to if you open his document at yes. the bottom. Right. The one I'm talking about now is where he says he messaged Hoyover staff to get things. Yeah, I they were unsuccessful it, yeah. in opening a dialogue and ended up ghosting yeah. me for a few months because they were unsatisfied yeah. with the outcome while trying to yeah. find other ways to solve things. Yes, and this person had messaged me about Brax before asking like, what, what's going on and between you guys? this person is a Hoyoverse employee? Is a Hoyoverse employee, right. yes. And did you contact that Hoyoverse employee in the future as well? Um, was that the person that you had asked about the contract that Brax had? Oh, the contract was way before this. Okay. This, um, when Brax asked them, yeah. So you're saying that, like, you didn't have any influence because Brax didn't get this contract, but you are saying that you talked to Hoyoverse, but in the process of talking with them, you never badmouthed Brax no. and caused him no. to not get the contract? No. Okay. Um, and again, like, I, I, I don't know if that's true. Like, I, I don't have the, yeah, the I know, information. I understand that. That's fair. Yeah, I don't no, have the fair. information to know if that's true. I just want to make sure that, like, you know, I know exactly what you're saying. Okay. Um, so all of this comes out about you. And the next thing I wanted to talk about was the stuff with, uh, excuse me, uh, what's the name? Uh, Goose. Uh, Tectone's yeah. old roommate. So yes. you were subtweeting about him. I was sub. What is a subtweet? A subtweet is whenever you make a tweet about a person, but you don't explicitly name them. Oh no no no! Sorry, I meant like what 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 was the. I'll sub -tweet? read the tweet to you. Okay. Sorry. So before we move on, can I just say one thing? Yeah. Uh, I I have to say this. I, I've been holding my tongue. Is if you found out from Brax that he might potentially have a contract with Hoyo. And if you go to Hoyo and be like, hey, is it true that maybe you're working with Braxophone? That doesn't raise some major red flags. Like, wouldn't Hoyoverse well, be like, number one, how do you know about it? Number two, why are you asking about it? And, 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 well, and it, they, they told me they don't know anything. Hmm. It just, it just seems, it just seems uh, reaching out to Hoyo directly after talking with him is, is like, well, it is he was asking for okay. advice so, on how so, much to make. Or, you know. So so you're you're totally right, Imtash, that it's extremely sus. But the truth is that we don't have the information available to us. That I don't yes, true. I don't think that yeah. I can without a shadow of a doubt say, you know, fucking uh you know, he came in there, Atsu came in there and, you know, poisoned the well, so 
Brax didn't get the contract. Now, is that possible that that at, that Atsu did that? It is definitely possible, and I think a lot mm -hmm. of people think that's what that that's what Atsu did. But we don't have any evidence for that, and so I don't think it's worth pursuing a assumption. And that's fair. And that's fair. Yeah. But of course it's sus. Of of course. Um. Anyway. Is that are we good with that? Yeah. Okay. Um. So this is so the subtweet. This is a story. Uh, I a story, sorry, a video uh, that Goose did two years ago. It's a tweet that you did. Uh, there are many creators in the Genshin circle and wider connected circles. I'd like to befriend or get to know better, but they're already in so deep with uh, many people who are awful off stream, and it makes mm -hmm. me skeptical if they are just naive or also awful behind the scenes. Can, who is that about? Uh, Tectoin is one of them. Okay, so then this subtweet. Uh, so other other cre other creators as well. It's not about goose egg though, but Tectone is an example. Okay, so let's use some logic here. So okay. you're saying that the. So you're saying Tectone is an awful person off stream, correct? Yes. Okay. Did you at that Which time? Is... Did, whoa, 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 let me just let me just oh, go yeah, through yeah. this. Did you at that time know that Goose was friends with Tectone? Yes. So then the implication would be that Goose being friends with Tectone would make him guilty by association and thus a subject to this tweet. Is that correct? Oh, this is not about Goose, no. But it would be about Goose. No, it would not be about Goose because Goose himself had already had interactions with me which were not positive. So Tectone is just an example. There are other creators as well that... I find very questionable. I find them to be awful people off stream as well. Why do you why do you and find when, them to be awful people? Well, for example, um, I don't really want to hash someone else's name in, but you don't have to use names. Just why do you think they're awful? Okay, so in a previous community I was in uh, before Genshin Impact, is a it's another gacha game. Oh boy. Um, yeah, oh boy indeed. Um, are you, you know how gacha games have the in-game currency to pull for things? Oh, yes. Yeah. So there was the, how do I, how do I say this without, um, okay. The chat, the chat already know, but, uh, so in this gacha game, the in-game currency, you have your standard price, you know, buying it the legal way. And then you have the quote unquote illegal way of buying them which would ultimately get you banned. Uh is this so, buying them through a third party website reseller yeah, buying that's them buying through them like a third with another currency that's devalued, is that correct? No, it's the one oh. where people would like refund, do the like make multiple Google accounts and then load on money, refund, make a new Google account, refund that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, so, so so what is the yeah, so one of the creators that I deemed as awful is someone who ended up promoting this, and like the demographic of the game was really young, relatively young. Yeah, and I thought this was pretty scummy, so I called him out on it, and then he retaliated by saying, "If this game dies, it's because you called me out for promoting these this cheap in-game currency." And then we had beef. Now this person is also in the Genshin Impact community now. Yes, as another creator alongside myself. And that's an example of someone who I deemed as awful. And so and there you were some creators. You were referring to the, their friends and not Tectone's friends. No, no, there's also some people who I was aware of, uh, who had like maybe spoken to me, and they were, but they were also very in deep with Tectone. And I was like, okay, and this is this is so Tectone and I had already had our initial falling out. It's right. like one year past that. So for me, Tectone, obviously we don't have the best opinion of each other anymore. Seems and that at way. this point we didn't either. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. And um, yeah, so there were there were some creators as well where I was like, okay, maybe they haven't seen all the beef or the drama or what's going on or certain clips flying around. So, so yeah, that's an example. So, but wouldn't that directly contradict what your tweet was? Because your tweet was the implication that they are also bad off stream. It's just that you don't know it. But now you're saying that 
they just didn't know about these other things that happened off stream as well. So because like no, because the, the... I said in that subtweet, and it makes me skeptical if they're just naive, like they don't know any better. Okay, and so this tweet had nothing to do with Goose. No, this had nothing to do with Goose because I have no interest in befriending Goose. So, so if this subtweet if it has had nothing, nothing to, do to do with Goose, then why did you make a twenty-six minute video responding to Goose? Couldn't you because have just said that the tweet wasn't about him? But it was about Tectone. But, so but, but during but, this well, period... Wait, wait a second. So if it was about Tectone, by a logical implication, it would then be about Goose because Goose is friends with Tectone and the tweet is yeah, about people is that are friends. It, yeah. Because he would be categorically part of the group that the tweet was about. You could deem it that way, but how in could that you, tweet, I okay, specifically how could said you, how could you to not, befriend. How could you not deem it that way? Because I specified people I would like to befriend. Goose and I were not friends, and I never had any intention of befriending him. And did he know that at the time? Yes, because, if, I mean, it's in his tweet longer as well. Mm-hmm. Um, that he sent me a donation saying, let's be friends, and I shot it down. Okay. But I, I didn't know who Goose was at the time, so I, I just thought it was a viewer who was like, let's be friends. I was like, okay, well, don't, don't do that because that's just a bit strange. So if you didn't know who he was, then how would you know that he was friends with Tectone? Because, so that moment was Goose way before he was with Tectone. Mm -hmm. So my first interaction with Goose was that, and that was way before Tectone. And then him and Tectone move in together. Right. Yeah. And then you find out who Goose is, and you make this tweet that... Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I found out who Goose was after that donation. Okay. Okay, so he was a content creator at that point in time. Yeah, he was, uh, he was a content creator at that point. Okay. And then you found out, and what what did you do? Did you, like, uh, apologize to him? Did you say anything to him after that, or was that it? No, that was it. He sent the donation. Okay. Uh, I shot it down, and that was... We just went our ways, separate ways. Okay. And so you make this tweet, and Goose thinks it's about him, because, like, if you were Goose, would you read this tweet and think that it was about you? I would say it's 50-50 because he probably should have known that I'm not interested in befriending him, but at the same time, he probably realizes that it was about Tectone. Okay, and so basically Goose makes this video and then you shit on him, and why exactly did, did you not like Goose other than him trying to be friends with you and so donating? So when he moved in with Tectone, Right. I don't know if you know about the Tectone versus Enviosity drama. I saw a tweet about it. Okay, so Tectone and Envy have, like a TLDR, they have a really bad history where they keep going at each other, but yes. Tectone is typically the aggressor. And, like, he, he says, oh, would I'm Tectone just posting, say, I'm would, just memeing. Would Tectone say that he was the aggressor? No, he would never okay. say that. Okay, so this is your opinion. Uh, this is, this is my territory. <laughs> uh, I can say, as someone who had beef with Tectone, that it's a it's a sticky situation. So let me explain this one. Um, Enviosity is the notorious free to play gamer. Like he was free to play through and through, and I was free to play as well. And the amount of people that would come in and be like, "Envy's better than you," unprovoked. I know Envy didn't send his audience to do that, but it sh that shit would happen all the time. Yeah, it's just this Twitch. Yeah, it's Twitch. Uh, however, Tectone would see that. He got very pissed off by it a lot of the time. And um, I think that Techie would bro shade, um, like the comment about being a mint picker. Uh, there's nothing to do in the game. All you do is run around picking mint and berries kind of thing. And I would say that a lot of the time, Tectone would keep hitting on that point and alluding to Enviosity. Um, also, before Tectone and I, like, patch things up, he would come after me all the time. He roasted my content and called my content shit constantly. 
And so I can definitely see when he has a bit of a beef with someone that sometimes he goes after them. It's for the content. I get that. And luckily we were able to squash it. But as someone that was under that, you know, scrutiny and seeing it happen all the time and then and then looking at at how he interacted with Envy, I could see a lot of similarities there. So um, did Envy Ossity say did. anything negative about Tectone? I'm he, sure. He just I'm sure. A very long. Yeah, Twitter there's a whole post talking about his trauma with Tectone. Okay. That being said, um, I I can see that you're coming to a lot of the conclusions that I, I I think I know where you're gonna you're gonna go with a lot of this stuff. I don't think I have a, a ton more to add to this, and uh, I think I'm gonna go out for for dinner with my my wife and my have son. Have fun, man. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip out and everything. The one thing I will say before I go, just so you have more lore, is. Uh, Atsu and I are relatively okay. Like, we we don't have beef, but he was someone in the community when Genshin first came out that uh, he was one of the people that roasted me. Uh, a lot of the creators roasted me, called my content shit, and we, for the most part, patched it up, but I didn't get a vibe that Envy... Or, or, or that 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 Tectone was very nice and, and like a super good dude, and he's in the one camp, but I never got the vibe that Atsu is a good dude in the other camp. Everyone was shitty at the very beginning. And when I look at all of this stuff, I think there's just a ton of junior high um, fighting that has been blown out of proportion by 30,000 people and, and made worse and worse, and worse right? Um, but I, I think there's everyone is, is, is a bit to blame here. And, and everyone, honestly, it was just like a subtweeting, um, subtweeting war for two and a half years. So uh, that's kind of all I wanted to say. And... You know, I think it's good to keep looking at the facts, though, and 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 getting these opinions. And uh, good luck. I'll, I'll tune in later to watch. You know what you end up saying, but uh, that's it. All right. Thanks a lot for coming on. And uh, have a good day, Mike. Yeah. Catch Let's you. See later. You, so Tectone. So like Inviosity makes like this big long tweet thread about Tectone, and uh, let me let me chill and call just to make sure we have another third person. You can keep talking though. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, anyway, so Enviosity makes this entire, uh, entire thread about Tectone, and, like, I don't really know Enviosity that well, I see him every once in a while, but if I read the, the messages that Tectone is showing, it sure seems like Tectone isn't bullying him. So, like, you see kind of like how there's this weird dissonance about how he makes this big, long twit longer, or not twit longer, but, like, tweet thread about how bad Tectone is, and then Tectone posts the DMs that he sends to Enviosity, and they're universally positive, and also, by the way, not reciprocated by Enviosity. And it would be so easy for Enviosity to explain exactly like is if there were any other dms couldn't enviosity logically just post those dms as well to disprove what tectone is saying but we're not seeing that happening so i find this to be very curious especially whenever Sorry. enviosity like if i if i read this there are almost no like everything turned into a competition i want to uh i was to give away he had to do a giveaway i was close to passing him in followers he told his audience not to let me catch up but there, there's no evidence of this a, a, at all. And if I, if I read this, this instigated his, instigated his fans to flood my chat, telling everyone to unfollow and to follow him. And so, Enviosity links. What? He links a, 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 a random, big oh, bigger giveaway than Enviosity Poggers 1.6 today. So is this? Is this problematic? Like, I, I I don't really think this is really that big of a deal. So the history with Enviosity is that he gets upset by absolutely everything. Okay. He's had multiple breakdowns and panic attacks on streams because he got one guide in chat, as well as he even had a mental breakdown on stream because he had two comments on a Twitter post that were slightly going against him with four likes. Tech, don't you he's think probably, he's, he's probably having a pretty bad day today. Him about that? Well, no, I, the so, so if I, I think that Tectone saying that is an implication that Enviosity laser focuses on negativity and that there is not actually 
this massive deluge of negativity. Because if Tecton is saying this person has a distorted view on the way people perceive him, and then he shows him sending enviosity positive messages, I do think that that is kind of proof of that, is it not? Well, would you like to read those messages? Sure. Yeah, let's read them. Okay, we'll, we'll look at them right here. Do you want to talk about what happened on stream today? Take your time. I hope you feel better, and I think you're confused about a lot of things. I don't hold any ill will towards you, but I think we really should talk at this point. Glad to hear you're doing better. Sorry that my persona was a bit overbearing and caused you discomfort. Won't let it happen again, at least intentionally. Hey, man, it's late, and I've spoken to Atsu. No hate towards you. Hope you're doing better, and I'm so sorry for the next streams you're going to have to go through. I'm trying really hard to mitigate any drama. So, I hope your wife's doing okay, too. Yeah, so what is the what is the problem here? So the Sorry. problem for this tweet was that he got one guide for not being invited on my show, the Genshin Guesser, and uh, one singular chatter went in there and said, why aren't you on the Genshin Guesser? And that caused him to have a panic attack on stream with the heart rate monitor. Oh boy. High score. It um, was very high. Yeah. Okay, so... I mean, can I, can I yeah, of course. say something? Yeah, go ahead. So in that DM, that's 2021. Uh, this is when I try to mediate between tech and MV because it was getting pretty bad, right? And would you, tech, would you say it's fair you guys' relationship just kept deteriorating after that point? For every single time he said whales are shit and free to play is the only way to play, I would say mint picker. The problem is I have thick skin so I can overlook it. And so it essentially formed a narrative of Enviosity is very soft. You can't shit talk him, but Tectone, you have thick skin, so we're allowed to shit talk you. But where is the evidence that he said this and he's directing that at you? Well, I've got one okay. piece so of, then, I've got a piece of evidence. evidence that I'm directing mint picking at him? Well, I, I mean, there's very strong evidence that Enviosity is throwing shots at Tectone because Enviosity in a tweet thread about stream disagreements in Viosity is bringing up Tectone's ex-wife. This is completely outside of the scope of streaming. It's massively personal. And it goes totally it over the line. Now, let me ask you a question, too. Have I ever brought in Fishy into anything? No, you haven't. Okay. That's also Envy's wife. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I really, I mean, if you're going to bring up somebody's relationship with their wife, um, it becomes extremely personal. I mean, I, or ex-wife, excuse me. I would me. say that's fair. Even before this whole thread, and, it was And I would say that that is a level, team. that is a level of escalation that I do not think Tectone had reciprocated at all before this. Like, that's way, way, way over the line. Especially for somebody that has receipts of them not being negative. And the only evidence that Enviosity really seems to have here is Tectone saying that he has a better giveaway than Enviosity. There's and then a other here... footage in the thread. Okay, so there's other footage. Let's look at this one right here. It ultimately stopped being a competition to him, rather a means to truly belittle and uh belittle any chance i get so this is a this is a tweet from enviosity of three random chatters saying i remember he shits on when envy view drops when switching games sag he also works on envy playing pow world on stream which is weird so this person is using and then a third person did say, um, yeah, I forgot about that. I really don't think that three random chatters whose names are blacked out is a strong bit of evidence to condemn Tectone. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I think this is crazy. Like, would you really take the, the, the word of, of three random chatters? I mean, I feel like you're hyper focusing on this one, but we can keep going through Let's the Let's keep threat. going. Uh, during my Rosaria polls years ago, there was glimpses of the PTSD in action where I'd be anxiously waiting for more of his community to jump in and spread hate. Okay, let's watch the clip. 
Full disclosure, I've never I seen can't. this my heart can't. So I'm going to turn your audio on. I can't take any more chat. I'm at, I'm, my heart rate, I, I can't, I can't. My heart rate's at 152 for fuck's sake. I can't take any more of this shit. I know you guys keep fucking pressuring me and telling me Envy, keep going. Please, keep fucking going. Go, get Rosaria. And there's gonna be some fucking toxic people later today. They're gonna be all like, oh. Why would you have a heart rate monitor on stream? I think that he's, uh, like, what, this is so weird. Like, I, am I the only person that thinks this is fucking weird? I like, so don't he's... think it's that strange at all. It's just content because... For him as an F2P, especially during this period in the game, mm -hmm. like his pulls are very scarce. Got it. All right. So they're very valuable. All right. Keep fucking going. Go get Rosaria. And there's gonna be some fucking toxic people later today. They're gonna be all like, "Oh, imagine tuning in to watch Envy and he didn't get the Rosaria. Imagine how fucked up that is." Well, welcome here. We'll get Rosaria for you. You know, the toxic people fucking say saying shit, whatever. Chat. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I'm already fucking stressed out because we didn't get her. I'm upset. We're 65 wishes in. We've got nothing but dog shit. We have to stop there, all right? I'm fucking sorry. If I let anyone down in here that, that I didn't get Rosaria because you thought I would get her. Literally, I said I would only go like 20 wishes in at the very beginning. I upped it to 30 and then I upped it to 44 and we're at 65 right now. We're at 65, all right? I didn't, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't supposed to go to 65, okay? I was, I was hoping to get her at 40, at least. I apologize if I let anyone down. I'm pretty sure people later on are going to fucking talk shit about me and say, Oh, imagine Envy. He didn't get the Rosaria. Imagine tuning in for that shit and all toxicity and shit whatnot. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. All right. I'm upset at myself. I already know. Okay. How was that clip about me? I really think that this person has a mental problem and needed to stop playing games like this. This is an insane overreaction to not getting an item in a video game. This is a grown man. And this is supposed not to be his reaction to not getting the item. It's because his chat started being flooded his, his, by people slam dunking on him, telling him to pull more. And it's, it's, an, it's, the, uh, how do I phrase this? Um, while you're contemplating that, I would like also to chime in. This is the same guy who ended his stream because he couldn't take his chat saying swap to JP dub. So, I don't think that this is necessarily an outcome of Tectone. I think that all the time, whenever you have... Because here's the issue, right? Is that you have a lot of free-to-play players. This was in Lost Ark. It's in Star Rail. There's a lot of games like this. There are always these free-to-play players that have a chip on their shoulder that constantly try to put themselves up against whales and say they're better than whales. And they do this constantly. And it has nothing to do with Enviosity, and it has nothing to do with Tectone. This is just something that exists in the community as a default. So for Enviosity to say that these people are coming into his stream and this is a direct outcome from Tectone is complete bullshit because it happened in Lost Ark. And Enviosity and Tectone, I think you guys played it for like a month. And I played it for months after that and it kept happening. So I think that he's blaming Tectone for something that really happens on its own. I People get it to me. Like, I wail in, in uh, fucking uh, Lost Ark. I, I fall off the edge on Valton. And you've got free-to-play players coming in saying, yeah, you can't buy gravity. And so this happens all the time. I don't think this is an evidence. And, and also, like, freaking out. Like, I mean, what are, what are we talking about here? Like, can we just be honest and realistic for like three seconds and say that this level of an overreaction based off of not getting an item in a gambling simulator video game is completely fucking deranged? This is not the this is not the mind of a of a sane person of a sound. This is not a sound mind. There's something wrong with this person if they're if they're feeling this way. And I'm not, I don't mean this in like a derogatory way. And I'm not perfect either. I don't want to go and be like, oh, everybody should be like me. You definitely don't want to be. But I can also recognize when somebody else is down bad. And this is down bad. This is really weird. And I think that like this level of an overreaction, you cannot blame this on tech. It's, it's crazy. That's can, crazy. Can we continue reading the thread? Let's continue. Well, I, I would like to know your opinion. Can we blame that on me? Can we first continue reading the whole thread? I would like to know your opinion on that. Because I think Asmongold, uh, as or Asmund, 
I, I feel like you you kind of ignore what I just said is he's not responding to the item as he stated. He was anxious waiting for Tectone's community to jump in and spread hate. But there's more context if you read for the rest of the thread. You think everybody's so, you okay, so do you think that everybody who jumped into Enviosity's stream is from Tectone's community? No, I don't think so. I think a lot of them are just like degenerate Twitch Andy's trying to stir some drama. So, but so then... as M Tash said earlier, Tech does throw shade at people and it's pretty obvious who it's directed at. Okay. Like the mint picker thing, come on tech, you know that was obviously about Envy. But right? I mean, and we... obviously your chatters are gonna take that and they're gonna go and dunk on Envy. Uh it was actually towards every free to play streamer. I not just okay I, of which I, MV is the biggest I really oh, like can, so can, can we really fault? put this into context he's calling them a mint picker because they're looting herbs in a video game yeah so is that like is, is that like a like on a scale term? on a scale of trauma where would you, if you had to put that on a one to ten scale what would you put that as a number for the comment itself to being to to me be, yeah being would, told that you're um a mint picker the comment itself for me is not the issue that's that's fine like if okay so you'd say it, so me you would say it's picker, like a zero it's whatever so it's, you'd say it's a yeah, zero for me okay. it's a zero but like what that encourages and incites an audience to do to go and just start spamming bs or just harassing another content creator I feel like you're just completely glossing over that, which I feel is unfair. Um, I can see why you say that, and I understand what your point is, but I think that there's a level of banter that free-to-play players do towards whales as well. Like, I bet Tectone probably gets feedback whenever he was playing Genshin Impact and whaling, that it's like, oh, you're just bad at this game, you've just spent $400,000 on it, so you're good. Oh, absolutely, right. absolutely. And so these things uh, exist naturally, and free-to-play players uh, promote this as well. Like, that's why they're free-to-play. The reason why they advertise free-to-play is to distinguish themselves from the whales in order to make themselves seem like the experience is more authentic. So I think this is really a both-sides situation. This happens all the time and happened. it's happened no, no, in every I, game. I, I agree with that, too. which is why in Tech's initial DMs, he said he spoke to me because I tried to mediate the situation between both of them. Yeah. Initially, I thought, you know, it's just their communities just stirring the pot, trying to go at each other. But from my perspective, and as MTash touched on earlier, Tech would go out and make comments on other creators uh -huh. and that would naturally encourage toxicity to go in that direction but we don't have I think it's fair to say that's totally fair but we don't have in the same way that i, I gave my heart can't take any more chat um I'm not, I'm, just a second heart... in the same way that i did not try to accuse you of trying to poison the well against uh you know yeah. like brax we are yeah. also not going to assume that tectone did something that we don't see like there, there's no evidence asked, could you guys it. continue the thread okay let's continue it so he says, despite it all, built this false narrative and told his audience that everything he did was just friendly banter. I never reciprocated those feelings back to him. Hell, he even assumed he followed me on Twitter, made his friends. Okay. Well, um, I would like to know. I don't know why the fuck he's saying because he followed me on Twitter, it instantly made us friends. He assumed that. Yeah, I don't know why. He, I, I, I have no idea. But let me just read the other one because this is actually a clip. This eventually led me into a panic attack I've had on stream where because it was on the internet, he now uses that to antagonize me more. Okay, so here's going to be the clip. We'll look at it right here. So what caused this? This from like a day Envy, or two Envy gets Envy gets one guy a lot and gets riled up real easy like that one time where people asked him he was going to join my game show and then he cried on stream. Envy Ossie's going to cry. So what caused Okay. Do we want to keep going? Is that, is I, that like the, I is think that like we the problem? Re, I think we should see the whole thing. That well, is the whole thing. That's no, no, as in uh, the whole thread. Okay. Watched the session with him and Dr. K and thought he would finally change. Um, and, and then finally have empathy. He'd understand the importance of mental health in, in this economy over years, especially when the constant bullying results in severe outcomes. And the bullying example he used is like literally he said that Envy got one guide and cried on stream, which is apparently what happened, right? No, because repeated commentary over the past three years, negative commentary directed towards right. him, 
I would say that's more akin to bullying. Okay, so where is it? Three years where is, is it? insane. Where is it? You're asking me to go through the last three years of Tectone's VODs to find clips of him dunking on Envy? Isn't that the same thing you asked me to do when I told you what Zajef said? Well, I mean, to be fair, and you mentioned this earlier, is that you said that you appreciated the fact that I did not take assumptions on anything, and I looked for the evidence of You're every right. single statement that was made against you. And now, yes, if you want me to believe something that you are saying, you do in fact have to prove it. And I'm not going to just say, over three years, these things have happened. I'm sorry, but this is just really not a strong argument to me. And I also okay, made I that argument fair. for you, too. No, no, I think that's fair. Okay. We'll look at the rest of these. Yeah. Uh, fast forward, we finally have squashed the beef and a load of stress was relieved. Maybe for once we can move on. We've made peace, okay? And then that was until shortly I found after that he just kept attacking me despite me not doing anything to him. Thus the cycle continued. Okay, so this is a clip of Atsu talking about it. Myself? The whole Tectone Envy beef was happening. And I was like, I'm sure I can fix this. I'm sure I can help mediate this. And I thought I did. Because th I thought they quashed it. Hmm. Just a minute. Sorry. And I was like, I'm sure I can fix this. I'm sure I can help mediate this. And I thought I did. Because th I thought they quashed it. And I, I it was crop it was quashed. But but then he then Tectone opened his mouth again. He opened his mouth again and he started shitting on Envy again. So I don't like what can what can I do? What can anyone do? You know? Like he always ends up starting shitting So Envy posted Hold on, follow, following this clip. Oh, I'm not going to watch uh, the clip with Tectone and his wife. I'm not going to watch that. Oh, no, no, no. That's fine. No, no, no. Yeah, that's, um, that has nothing to do with Following this. that initial clip where I talked about Tectone opening his mouth after they supposedly quashed the beef. Yeah. I, I, I would just like to ask Tectone directly in front of Asman's chat, my chat, wh whoever your viewers are watching. Would you say you've never gone and dunked on Envy after that point? Uh, by dunked on Envy, do you mean state? the acts that he has done on stream that has caused me no I just made like petty comments or throw shade would you say petty his direction mint picker yes i do say mint picker and is that the only thing you've said about envy in a negative light what are you implying that i've said are no you no I'm, that I'm, I'm, i i want to picker? ask you do you personally feel that you have only or you've never said any other negative comments about envy Osti? All right, let's think it's, about the negative things I've said. Okay, uh, mint picker, overly sensitive, prize at everything. That should summarize about everything. Now, the reason why I say that is because that's how it is. Okay, so do you not think there's any validity in when he says as someone who should, you know, as someone who's advocated for mental health that those kind of comments are not helpful? Uh, do we think it's helpful as a guy who advocates for mental health to bring up my ex-marriage uh, on a, in a in a fucking Twitter post? I, I don't think that's the case, but you're deflecting from my question. It's it's a yes or no question. I, I, I've given you my answer. I don't think oh, sure, the, sure. I, the clip I, I there think, is not good. I think the things that I've said to him are pretty much takeable by anybody on planet Earth. I have never once claimed to be a nice guy. They we don't have a, we don't have any clip of this. There's no now, clip of this. We haven't seen what is something outrageous that I've said. I don't want to see. I don't want to hear about what somebody said. I want to see it. If I can't see it, it didn't happen. No, like, I, I respect I, that. I, but I, I just that. wanted to ask Tech and have that on record because I, I want to know where he stands on this. And I'm not saying Envy is completely innocent either, because Envy also retaliated as well. But like, obviously, I don't have clips in my hands sure. right now. You know, I've I've come into this call. I I don't come in here with like clips of Tectone and Envy that. So, I I can't just summon that. Maybe your chat can, maybe my chat can, but 
I don't know if it's okay if we can ask the chats to look for clips. If people but... if people find something like that, that's fine. But I mean, okay. I, I do definitely think that it is way, way, way beyond the scope because like, again, like even in this clip at Sue, you're not referring to like any specific thing that was said. It's and I think that this is a very common theme here is that there is like just this implication of a preponderance of evidence that whenever you actually try to find it, it's like a mirage. The closer you get, the more it disappears. Mm -hmm. And we're not seeing any real evidence here. And I I want to see evidence. Like, I don't care. Like, no, so, I, I so if, if, for example, Tectone says free-to-play players are mint pickers. No, I'm not going to take this as enviosity being attacked because he's a free-to-play player. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That is, like, a person that has that little self-control should get off the fucking internet and should not be a content creator. And I mean that in the most empathetic way possible. This is a this is a level of like uh I don't know, like fucking like padded room behavior that is just not acceptable. Like you can't you can't be that sensitive and then expect everybody else to conform around it. It's completely selfish. So I'll go back. I'll read the rest of these. Okay, it's all. It's almost over. Okay. I was disappointed in myself. I was able to find this information out sooner. Warning: What a shameless human behavior he has displayed has made me lose any ounce of respect I had for him. I feel less anger now. Instead, feel disgust and pity for him. Sadly, due to my past trauma under duress, I made hot-headed statement of, "I should be the only one being praised for free to play in Genshin." To the recent Genshin drama. And I want to bring this point back to my original point that I made, that free-to-play players act like they are Jesus on the cross. They act like they're the ones that are going through it. And I think that him saying that implies that he is pushing that narrative. And whenever he's pushing that narrative, the implication is that the people that are not doing it are not playing it the real way, and they suck. Because it's in Lost Ark, it was in, it's apparently in Genshin, it was in Star Rail, it was in fucking Diablo Immortal. So there it is. Would you like the clip of him saying that? I, sure. Sweet, it's pretty funny actually. Okay, let's play it. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, let me just, I'll, I'll read the rest of these. Uh, they were right, it wasn't me. I'm not the best at articulating my emotions. I'm not uh, ashamed to admit that, especially when dealing with anxiety and trauma live inside of me. I look back at that moment and everything is a blur. Um, okay. Uh, sadly, I can't erase people's first impressions and I apologize for that. I upset, I allowed constant harassment uh, to affect me, his constant harassment to affect me this much. Like, don't you find this to be problematic that enviosity makes an entire tweet thread just constantly referencing constant harassment, but there's never any indication of that harassment happening other than a title and then Tectone saying that enviosity got one guide on stream and cried, which is true. Because you would assume that if the harassment was constant, that there would be more than two examples that are extremely vanilla. Like I think uh, that's fair. No, no, I think that's fair. Okay. And so here's the link, Asmund. If you want to watch all right, this, let's watch it. Let me pull this up. Man. Death Strike 1. I should be the only motherfucker getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. Hello. I mean, maybe he's right. Maybe we shouldn't make videos about the game. Maybe we should stream- Was it just that small clip? Uh, yeah, it actually goes- it goes a little bit further than that, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's any more of it. But yeah, sure, no, that's- has it, Doug. I'll send it. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Um... All right, so, uh, so I'm banned. I'm oh, Envy deleted the clip. All right. I mean, I probably would have too. I mean, he, he just. 
Okay, um, they my peers, community, I've had my back for years, never acted once, stuck by my side. Uh, there's only one common denominator in this in this stress, and we already know the outcome of this tweet. Since we know this cycle many times, he'll continue to defend, deflect, and villainize. The unnecessary harassment will continue, nothing will change. I've learned over the years that if I defend myself, I'll anger him. If I don't defend myself, I'll anger him. If, can, we, can we swatch the beef? He'll continue to shit-talk me. It's a triple-loose situation. This is my piece. So, this is my opinion. I think that Enviosity took a convert, like a disagreement. I think this guy has a massive fucking persecution complex. I do. Because he's constantly thinking that people are going to harass him. He's constantly thinking about how the community perceives him and how people are giving him credit for being free to play. Like this, this is crazy. This, this is, this is not what a person of a sound mind would do. And he's escalated this all the way up to the point in his mind of thinking that it is appropriate to, inside of a disagreement over a video game, bring up a person's previous marriage. Like, this is a, this is like five degrees of removal above anything like mint picker or uh, free to play, uh, like something like that. Like, that, that you got one guide on stream. Like, which one is worse? Bringing, bringing up, uh, you know, somebody's previous marriage, then calling them a horrible person, or calling them a mint picker in Genshin. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, any sympathy that I could have for this person doesn't exist. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, th this is it. So here's the, here's the full clip. So, why do I have people on Twitter trying to tell me, Envy, why are you not speaking up about it? As if a YouTube video is going to do anything about it. As if one star in Google Classroom is going to do anything about it. As if unfollowing Genshin Impact is going to do anything about it. I should be the only motherfucker getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. If you want a company like Horioverse to actually listen to you and let you and have and listen to your fucking concerns on what you want with the game, quit spending money on the fucking game. I don't spend money. I am free to play for three plus years. Why am I getting people trying to come after me when I haven't spent a fucking dime on my account? Envy, why are you the only Genshin content creator not addressing? You that, that a YouTube that video is not going to fucking do shit. All right, two commenters on his tweet with four likes. Persecution complex. As I said, I think that this person's not well in the head. They probably shouldn't stream. That's what my opinion is about this guy. Uh, I, I mean, Atsu, do you think I'm wrong? I wouldn't call it a persecution complex. I, I have talked to him. I said he can be overly sensitive at times. Do you think this person is emotional outburst? But I don't think that invalidates him as a content creator. I, I also think that it's also not necessary to make comments about other creators repeatedly. And I know you're going to say, where's the evidence, where's the clips, why well, I don't have them on hand, but that's, I'm just giving my opinion. I'm, I'm not accusing you of that or accusing tech of that right now. I just, that is my stance. That's, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. I, I think that again, uh, if you're a content creator, you're putting yourself out there and you are this thin skinned that you're going to make a long tweet thread and have a panic attack over something like this. This is just simply not a man of a sound mind. I, I don't think any person of healthy mind and body would behave this way. This is very weird. And so I don't really view any of what Enviosity is saying as credible at all. I think that these are... Th th this, this is completely overblown. And, and again, if it's not, then I want to see the evidence. In the same way that I asked for yeah. evidence for, for your situation. Yeah, no, yes, yes, yes. And so I, I, I think from, yeah. from what you've seen, like your take is very reasonable. Yes. Obviously, I don't have like the last three years of the tech tone envy back and forth. Right. On me right now. It, it might surface at some point, but like mm -hmm. I, I don't have that on me right now. So but what, do you, what do you think I said? Also, I, I just... Uh, well, like, I'm going to say this again because I've said it earlier, but I am just aware that you have consistently made remarks about him in negative manners. Consistently, like, not not, not just, like, 
irregularly like it's a consistent thing that and it's public that you dislike envy and you have made numerous comments about him in a negative fashion and i would not say it's a baseless claim and I've, of course i don't have the quote-unquote evidence on me at hand right now that when you say something bad about envy it's obviously going to send toxicity his way and of course he doesn't deal with that well so does envy have thin skin or thinner skin for a content creator i definitely think so i've talked to him about this i think he can be too sensitive sometimes and sometimes can be a bit too much in his own head but i also don't think that you're helping that situation tech when you talk about him in a negative manner and what are these things that i'm saying but that's what i'm saying i just said i don't have the evidence on hand but whenever you say like oh envy's a crybaby or envy's a mint picker but especially like the crybaby one i think is pretty you know like it's it's not cool man like you know you know what your viewers are gonna do they're, they're gonna go over to his chat and just like make fun of him crying all the time but again like i don't have clips of your viewers like one-to-one -one, if that's what you're gonna ask and I feel like that's a bit unreasonable to ask of me right now. It's it's reasonable to ask, but also, obviously, you know, I don't have that on hand right now. Okay, so I would like to go even further. So another thing you'd like to say earlier on your stream is that you said that I needed proof of Zajef consistently harassing me. He's one of your friends, yes? Yep. Would you like clips? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I would like to just go ahead and preface this. Um, yep. Three Over three years ago... We had this drama with some Jinjinx and Tuner shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy essentially left the stuff. platform. This guy, this guy essentially left the platform because uh, uh, <clears throat> Zhongli meditates. We had a discussion about them. And uh, he left the platform uh, mm -hmm. because of Zhongli meditates. <clears throat> and so this guy, because I get blamed for, I get blamed for these guys quitting. I get blamed for these guys quitting. Uh, this guy called Zajef is just in his stream and he says this quote now this one i won't be able to prove but don't worry i have some other stuff okay uh where he says that i have abused my wife that my wife should leave me that he thinks i'm lying about being homeless and that i am the biggest manipulator in the Genshin Impact community so i bring this to atsu's attention and he says where's the proof okay so i went back through three years of vods three years atsu three years Mm -hmm. uh, and this guy has been consistently backseating and theory crafting my life for three years. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like to make the point that absolutely nobody has ever called this motherfucker out, even though he's one of the biggest content creators in the community. Uh, because apparently it is absolutely fine when people shit on me. Uh, so we'll just go ahead. Oh, and also, uh, there's also this misconception that goes around where <clears throat> OTK got me out of debt. I don't know where the fuck that spawned from, <laughs> but that shit is insane. We didn't give this uh, fucker any I money. think the well, fog well, thing was, didn't he say Ms. Kiff helped you with financial stuff? No. What happened was OTK wanted me to move to the United States, mm -hmm. so I had to buy a house that I could not afford. Mm -hmm. Me joining OTK is what put me into debt. Do we have awesome. the clip? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I've never stated that OTK saved you from that. I was just well, referencing yeah. Bob's tweet. Do we do we have the clip? But you also corroborated what he said from his tweet in your stream. Without because second thought. If if that's the case, I apologize, but I believe you misconstrued the intention of that tweet which was an appeal to empathy okay explain uh, which is you should not go after someone else's livelihood i'm assuming what fob was trying to tell you there was if someone's helped you with your livelihood you should know better than to go after someone else's livelihood right, right. like if you if you've if you've had like been in that difficult situation with your livelihood then you know you should have that empathy right. to, so, to know not to go after someone else's can we so can, can we can we cut can we cut to the part where we look at the clip yes i i would also i like want to see the clip, clip because we're talking about what a tweet said and i don't even know the tweet sure okay can you oh fuck okay I, i'm just gonna be able to play the audio is that okay yeah you're good 
It's it's not my fault. It so these are clips of of who who is this person? Uh, this guy's called Zajef. Zajef, and he's got long hair. He looks like he's got hair. It's about as shitty as mine. He looks like me, but he's about fifty more pounds. Is that that about right? Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Can't help it. Look, it, it's it's not my fault. It it's just it's just an internet persona. Chat. It's just an internet persona. You know, Forrest Tectone has told you. It's just a persona. His name is John. Mm. I think. Okay, that's the first clip. Let's see the second one. Uh, I don't think you have the clip pulled up on your stream. I don't, because I have Discord on a second computer, so oh, I never oh, leak okay, Discord. Okay. Sorry, my bad, yeah, my bad. I can only play the audio. I apologize, guys. Realistic guy, and I feel like his takes are very, very, very good. I do. Whoa, shit. Tectone said that OK Code's takes were really, really, really good. And OK Code said that my takes were good. Wait. That means Tectone's? Tectone? Thinks that the take that my takes are good is a good take. Therefore, Tectone thinks my takes are good. Woo! Woo! Shangling supremacy! Let's go! Who told dog shit? Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's see the third clip. Uh. What's going to happen if I say no? <laughs> right? Yeah. And again, right? I'm not saying. So this can you this be added to the call? Do you mind pause, uh, no, I would rather not. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So this clip is very important because I was also accused of forcing another content creator on my stream because of those messages in their chat. And I said that I humiliated them and I harassed them in our chat and I invited them to their I invited them on my stream by bullying them. So I don't know if there's any way you can show those DMs on screen, but uh, yeah. These are messages that Tectone sent. I'm going to read them word for word. They're in Twitch chat. Tectone, hey, out of curiosity, do you hold the same opinions on Zhongli as Jinx? I 100% agree with the state of mind, and I don't think of it as a bad call. Out of curiosity, would you be okay, open to coming on my stream sometime if you're still streaming, and then you did an emote, I think it was Techie Poggers, and then you say you want to talk real quick on, and then the rest of it is cut off. And this is being construed as you bullying him? Yeah, this was me uh, bullying and harassing him to come on my stream. Okay, well, Jeff, let me go ahead. Critters. Right. Yep. Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish the clip. No. Oh. Um, see, I, I, I can do this because I don't, I don't care if, if, if people, um, I don't even know what this is. What's he even saying? <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, again, so this right. This was me going into, uh, his stream and attempting to have a conversation with Zajef after he was going live, telling people that I was physically abusing my wife. Okay. And, uh, this was I'm not my message. Uh, essentially just letting you know that he read that and fully processed it and still doubted that. Okay. Saying, could we, uh, can you be added the to the clip? Because I had your stream muted while you had it on. I didn't realize. Well, it's in the you, discord uh, chat. You, you can just look okay. at it. Yeah. I'm okay. going gonna, gonna to do the fourth one. Okay. Here's the your last dad, clip. Your dad was verbally abusive and drove you to extreme measures, but you never used that as a crutch to mistreat other people. It's very mature of you. Oh, I feel like the guy's kind of weird. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, so what is what what does this guy have to do with anything? Like, what is this? So essentially, it's just very interesting that Atsu's friends are allowed to blast me and blast me and blast me. And I can take it because I don't cry on stream. But because I say mint picker towards another streamer, I'm fucking Hitler, bro. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I, I think that it's kind of weird for him to say that. Like, bringing up any personal stuff is obviously, uh, 
that's a bit much, right? It's obviously a bit much. Um, well, well, look, I mean, the enviosity stuff. Like, wh why? Why are we even talking about that? Oh yeah, I was, I was about to yeah. ask. Like, we've gone on a big tangent. Yeah, this has I been a massive tangent. We like, uh, I, I don't about. even know what that's about. I mean, enviosity is really upset. I think that he is totally in his own head. This is not a person of a sound mind. He's saying Tectone is bullying him. There's no clips of that other than a screenshot and like him talking about the preponderance of evidence, which seemingly doesn't exist. Uh, maybe it does. We'll have to see in the coming days. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, um, going back to the rest of this. Uh, d so you you were unhappy like i, I want to like kind of wrap this up do you so do you think that like a lot of the people that are criticizing you atsu are like being fair do you uh, think they're being fair do you have a list of the people I, I can go by one by one and be like fair unfair fair unfair well what do you think are the fair and unfair things that people are saying so the there's one from sip sip stefan who i think is just trying to insert himself here uh -huh. um we had no real interaction i blocked him because he was doing like a keem star misinformation just spreading leaks and that was his twitter profile i didn't want to see that so i blocked him I made a tweet saying, all right, there's someone who's like acting or something like uh, someone acting like Keemstar and everyone's eating up this misinformation. And it did turn up, turn out to be misinformation. But uh, by then I already blocked him. So I don't know why he's really making a big fuss. I just blocked him. We've okay. never interacted before that as well. So that's one of them. There's another one called Bob VT. Um, this one is related to another content creator and like a romantic relationship between them. So I don't really want to speak on it, but sure. I think that one is also unreasonable. Like if that person wants to, to speak on it, then they can, they can speak on it, but uh, it's not my place to say. Sure. Um, then we have Sakapoko who's joining in the dog pile, but Sakapoko is the guy I told you earlier about as in like the, the guy from the previous community, that did the whole refund like the yeah the he's the one that party. was like yeah, 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 yeah the google account one, yeah, yeah. um so that one's just in my opinion dog pile i would say i'm definitely starting to understand the braxophone one more i still feel like because he's put in so many insinuations in his twit longer though i can't say it's in necessarily good faith but i can understand that he has felt isolated to that point and driven to that point through paranoia so i can i can say that's fair but not necessarily i agree with all of it because mm -hmm. there are there's just a lot in there that he's his source is rumors and it, for me it's it's basically my word versus his he's accusing me of something all i can say is well that's not true and you know it's, it's not like i can prove that's not true because he's accusing me of doing something um, and then we have uh, Tuna, I think, made a tweet as well. So Tuna is the one that Tech just mentioned because of this whole Zhongli drama. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. And he's implying that he also quit because of me, which I think is fair. I think that's fair because I was pro Zhongli as well. And a lot of people got very heated over this discussion between this character that can create shields, which just saying this out loud just sounds great. It sounds ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, so, so yeah, why, do you, why did he quit yes. because of you then? Because uh, I, I was very vocally. So I would, Tech, is it fair to say we were both like Omega vocal about pros like Zhongli is having a shield is good. That is absolutely fair. Yeah, like, and then that discourse, well, they were, they were the opposite of that discourse. So then naturally you have like the, the theory crafting side and then you have, to, to be fair, neither me or tech are theory crafters. So more like field crafters sure. going at each other. Like the communities were just going at each other. And I think they could not, 
like the the abuse they would receive or the comments they would receive was too much for them so they stopped making content and this was over so is my a understanding and recollection so what you, do you define as abuse well i i don't know because i was not like in their comment sections i don't know what they received but i would imagine they probably got like some kyss probably got some of your idiots you know yeah. worthless that kind of stuff i'm sure that must have happened were you calling out this person tuner explicitly like by name or showing them and being like this person is wrong i honestly don't remember okay. i do remember making a comment on a theory crafter who hadn't made it to the final stage of the game saying yeah like whereas i had made it to the final stage of the game so i was saying like you can't just take these people's words at face value when they haven't challenged the end game at the time. Okay. But I don't remember if that was him or not. Okay. Do you do you think it's a normal reaction to quit YouTube because some people disagreed with your theory crafting? I would say disagree is putting it lightly. Like if you get bombarded with a barrage of hate, then yeah, I can understand why people would not want to be part of that anymore. Okay. Um, I think that probably the most, pro the, the most problematic thing, like a lot of this other stuff is like really kind of hard to say it's interpersonal, et cetera, uh, is primarily that you were acting as a gatekeeper to people getting sponsorships. Right. I, I feel like mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. that's the big accusation. Yeah, Everything yeah, else yeah. is kind of like, uh, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, or I mean, at least well, 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 well. I, I wouldn't say it's not that well, big of a deal. Compar comparatively to comparatively, acting as a, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, so, and, and I I do think that like even you did admit that because you were making lists of people, and you would have that autonomy, that there were instances that you did effectively act as a gatekeeper. Is that correct? I would not say that's gatekeeperish if I'm just selecting my friends for example it would be like if you went to home us and like we're otk sure would you like to to work with us it's, uh i see what it's you're not like I i'm saying you're not you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to be here you know does that make sense i i see what you're saying um i also can understand why somebody would think that it's gatekeeping especially if they're being left out so yeah. also if i am doing this everything exists in scarcity so if i'm mm -hmm. getting these things for friends of mine then they're mm -hmm. not going to other people instead so if you created a list for a genshin impact event and then mm -hmm. hoyoverse used that list for star rail like you said yeah you are effectively creating a list of people that will be sponsored now is this yes. necessarily bad faith acting I am not sure, but you can see why people would think that. Yes, I, I do, but I also feel like so using the OTK analogy, like if yes. you guys went up to Hoyoverse and like, "Hi, we're OTK." I don't feel anyone should like have this entitlement to be like that was my deal that I should have been included in that OTK roster when they're not part of OTK. So I, I, I don't understand why people have that entitlement in the first place like i can understand why they feel or oh, it feels bad to be left out or it feels bad not to be part of mm -hmm. otk to get this deal but like ultimately you guys have formed your group you're pitching your group to them and it's it's not like these other content creators or maybe an other, another group couldn't pitch themselves too they just haven't taken the initiative to do so and then to then come out and be like oh that should have been for me I, f I feel like it's just entitlement. I, I, I think that's true. I think that you're right about that. But the implication is not that they aren't getting deals because of this. This was the, the fact that you were doing this with a group of friends. This is only supporting evidence for the accusation that people are bringing forward that you are gatekeeping other people away, right? Or causing them to not get deals or not be able to interact with people that are at the company. Because that's really the if accusation. We... Because I, I agree with you. Yes, if you get your friends in on a deal, this isn't necessarily some kind of bad thing. But the problem, however, and you have to admit that this is a problem, whether it's, uh, you know, 
like OTK or anybody doing this, right? Is that if you have some sort of exclusive relationship with a, uh, you know, some other company and yes. you are only getting deals for your friends, this is absolutely favoritism. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. And so I, I think that really it, it, it's, I think people had the concern not that it was being used in a positive way, but in fact that it was being used in a negative way. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. can see why Brax would think that given oh, no, no, his... No, I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I, I understand where Brax is coming mm -hmm. from. But to, to give more context, I think the OTK analogy is good because you guys are all big content creators. Sure. Right. And a lot of times the people that they pick, I don't get picked for every single event, by the way. I, I don't know where this narrative has come from, but... The, and I don't. I also don't live in America, so I miss out on tons of stuff. Okay. Um, but the ones that get picked a lot are often they just happen to be the largest content creators. So Tuanto, Anthony Chan, they're just very big content creators, and they get picked frequently, which I don't think is surprising because they're just big creators. Now, when when I'm with them and I'm friends with them, of course, I obviously I can see why some people are like oh you're mixed in with them and that's why brax made a comment like atsu's not like the biggest creator he's not the cheapest creator so but at the same time i'm like just thinking well it makes logical sense for the biggest creators to get sponsored except for tectone and like MTash. repeatedly yeah except for tectone and mtash right. because they're they're blacklisted and so there is a blacklist. And so if people thought that well, they're... I would assume so, yes. Of course, right, naturally. And I think that, again, people had the concern that if you are expressing that you don't like people, like Brax, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that that would maybe extend to a blacklist on them as yes, well. Yes, no, I, I think that's fair. Right. I think so, that, like, having that assumption in the first place is fair. Yeah. Uh, I think that we've pretty much covered everything. I'm going to be honest. Uh, is there anything else that uh, that we need to go over? Anything else we need to say? Uh, I don't know. Is, is, I think Tech Tectone's still here. Uh, did we miss anything? Atsu, did we miss anything? Tech? Oh, uh, no, nah, I'm chilling, bro. Okay. I mean, uh, I think this all just boils down to uh, is that this community hates each other. And I think it also boils down to is that there are a lot of content creators who are overly sensitive, who project their own insecurities onto other people. And uh, the moment you say anything, they freak the fuck out. And uh, I think it would be better if these people just would not talk to each other. And I think that would probably be for the best. I also agree. I think that if you are a content creator in a public space, you should expect to have people talk about you. I think the idea that you have the uh you are entitled to have people not comment on what you project publicly is completely narcissistic and entitled i think that it's only self-serving and it's completely unfair if you post things online you should expect to have people react to them for better or for worse and that goes with any uh so in Viosity, doing this especially like talking about it on stream that that's up to him right that's going to be him but i think it's also unfair to say that like he's being bullied without a lot of receipts and i think that really one of the big concerns that i have is that oftentimes these accusations are leveled against somebody and the accusation is built on an assumption of what somebody said that they heard from another person that was in a clip that's deleted and so you never yeah. really have, It's a, as I said, like, it's like, you know, you go into this and you think that there's a, this mountain of evidence and it's like a, a an, an oasis that's a mirage. Like the closer mm -hmm. you get to the evidence, the more it's just simply not there. And I think that that's the case with Tectone in a lot of cases. And that's who I think in a couple of cases, it's the case with you too. But yeah. especially with Tectone, because Tectone is constantly accused of being this tyrant for three years, and then whenever you actually get down to brass tacks, you look at the clips, you look at what's said, you look at the actual evidence, and it doesn't seem like that's the case. And I think that this is very problematic, that you have a constant deluge of criticism and hate on a person that's built off of an assumption of something that's not real. 
or at least not provably real. And so with any of this, I find to be very problematic. And I think anybody in your position, Tecton's position, anybody's position, th this would be extremely frustrating for them. And so that's why I wanted to come on and, and kind of like actually get to the bottom of this and see what's really going on. But I think that really you cannot make videos on the internet and expect other people to not have an opinion on them. This is a level of narcissism that has started coming up in the last five years. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's good for anybody. I agree. True. All right. Well, yo, thank you, Asmund. There it is. I'm going to go the fuck to bed. All right. Have a good, uh, have have a good, good night. night. Yep. All right, guys. Peace. I will see y'all later. Bye-bye. Yep. Thanks for talking. See ya. Oh, man. What a day. What a day. What a day. Wow. God, I can't wait to start playing Genshin Impact. That's incredible. Oh, my God. JPEG drama. Uh, the worst part is that you're not wrong. I, I, my heart rate. Like, you're actually not wrong. Uh, it is incredible. This is going to be a long YouTube video. Yeah, that ending was weird as fuck. Well, th the reason why I ended it that way is because... A lot of the implications that are made... I don't have the evidence to just say, this is what happened. This is what they did, for sure. And I don't like to accuse people of shit that I can't prove. Now, everybody does that. Right? I've done that. But I was wrong whenever I did that, and I try not to do that. So, that's really it. I try to be as fair as I possibly can be. Every single time, with every single situation. Look at Envy's recent tweets, Sag. What's this? He's, he's, he's bringing up... He's bringing up Tectone's... Uh, uh, Tectone's uh, marriage with his ex-wife. Because Tectone said that he picked flowers. He picked flowers in a video game being free to play. That's right. Yes. And this is the this is the selfishness of a person who is a. Uh, Ridatsu's response to Brax. Yeah, it was a mint picker. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And. Um, Th this is the problem with people that are overly emotional, like Enviosity, is that they are so overly emotional, and these people would like to have you believe that you are a, that they are very empathetic, but they're actually extremely selfish emotionally. And so in their mind, they're able to justify, somebody made fun of me for the way that I played a video game, I'm going to put them on blast because of their relationship with their ex-wife. These people are actually the most narcissistic, the most selfish, the most aggressive, and the most hostile. It's like a cornered animal. They're neurotic, that's the term? Yeah. Uh, but you also defend the brand. Obviously, Tectone can be problematic. Oh yeah, I go into this. I'm I'm gonna defend Tectone. Tectone's my friend, but I was I what what part was I unfair? Because if people want to say that I'm on that I'm biased, I am biased. Of course I'm unbiased. Of course I'm biased. Absolutely. And so I invite that criticism. At what point was I biased? How was I biased? What should I have said instead? Because, yes, you're right. Of course I'm biased. A hundred percent. That's why I, I tell you that going into it. I try to be fair, but I want you to know that, of course, I'm biased. And that's why, again, at the end, I didn't draw conclusions. That's your decision. Because I know that I'm biased.
Was it Reckful also overly emotional? Do you hold the same rules for his case? Reckful had a legitimate serious problem. His brother also killed himself. I think it's very unfair for you to use Reckful's situation as a justification for a person getting mad being called something in a video game. Uh, that was something that was went a lot deeper than a uh, you know a few comments in chat. Okay, like let's let's go ahead and dial it down a little bit. Okay, who said that? No, I, I mean a lot of people just don't understand that or don't know that. I mean it happened years ago. People might not really really remember. So yeah, it was a gotcha. It was a gotcha. And uh, I think you assume too much about enviosity based on cherry picked evidence. Well, to be fair, it is cherry picked evidence that he presented himself. I assume too much. I, I, if a person having a panic attack over not looting an item in a video game is not evidence of that person being mentally unstable, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like that's a really strong bit of evidence to me. Like I, I like if I see somebody like that, that's that's insane to me. That that, that that's actually insane. That's not what it was about. Yeah, it was. And and you're going to say, oh, it's the implication. People are going to make fun of me. Like, it's just a person with the chip on their shoulder. It's just, what it is. So let's go. As people like to exaggerate for content. Yeah. Uh, breakdown over the game is not really the problem. It's just a symptom. If that's the way that the game makes you feel, then you should stop playing games and streaming them. I think the idea that everybody else has to, you know, like, uh, fucking safety wrap and bubble wrap everything around you because it could offend you or you could take it personally is so absolutely narcissistic and selfish that, again, this could only be the outcome of a mind who thinks that it's justifiable to use a person's ex ex-wife's divorce uh, as, as, an, as an accusation against them inside of a video game, right? Like, that's it. Check them in Velocity Suite. I, I already saw a lot of them before. That's just your Twitter post. We started the end of it. It's crazy. Well, I've already gone through this for like uh, hours. Okay. I think that we've pretty much covered everything and uh, I don't really need to go through any more of it. I think that's it. Completely agree. However, to go to another person's stream and start stuff is poking a bear, so to speak. Yeah, but I didn't see any screenshots of Tectone doing that. And if I did, I would say that Tectone was wrong. But until I see that, I'm not going to go ahead. Like, again, there's this per and this is what I was saying before the rapidly vanishing preponderance of evidence that immediately disappears whenever it's uh whenever you start looking for it too much hearsay yeah hmm do you consider yourself as a rationalist how do you understand this I try not to think too much in terms of how you identify yourself. I think it controls your thought in a bad way. Uh, Charlie Pinch your Twitter. No, I, I think that, you know, th there'll probably be a follow-up for this tomorrow. But overall, um, you know, I think this kind of stuff is going to happen uh, more and more.